Hello, gang. Welcome to today's stream. Welcome all around the world, one and all. <laughs> all right. Go to the intro screen. Hello, gang. I hope you're well. Dan, you were just saying you're not feeling great. You did all the pond cleaning today and stuff. Hanky, can you move over here, please, on the beddy? Hi there. Thanks. All right, I had a, I had a dog mat right at my feet. Get it? Dog mat? Whatever. <laughs> Hank, uh, Hank did a really good job looking after me yesterday. Hello, Amy. Hello, Tools. Hello, Dan. Hello, Neon. Hello, Zero. Uh, and hello, everyone else. Hope we're well. Look at this just mess of track we've got everywhere. I'm going to have to do a rework around here. It's just track central, isn't it? Uh, Zero, I only just loaded... I only just loaded that mod in, like... Okay, guys, you have to remember... I Yesterday, I spent majority of the day... Uh, in a hospital. <laughs> okay, so... BC, hello, friendo. Lower back pain from the little... Ah... Uh, you Dan. That's no good. Lower back pain is the worst, friendo. Yeah, so I haven't... Uh, I haven't been able to do any gaming at all for the last couple of days, gang. I apologize. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely have it installed, ready to go. Um, I hope it works too. The only thing that... The only trouble with that mod that I've seen is it's really hard to delete sections. Uh, but we'll, we'll figure it out, I guess. Hello, Johnny. How are you, friendo? It's nice to do some transport fever too because I haven't been able to do any recordings much. I do have an episode... I do have another episode of um, AO Tennis coming out. Uh, um, we are, oh, a, 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 a next stream, I bought Lightyear Frontier. If you want to know, Lightyear Frontier that we checked out on the Steam Next Fest is out now. Uh, it's in early access, but still, it's the full game in early access. Take that, oh, almost fell over. Take that what you will. Um... So the game is, uh, looks all right. It's getting some good reviews and stuff. So we'll be checking that out tomorrow. Hopefully I'm feeling a bit better. I'm standing today because I can't sit. My side here, right here, just killing me. It's a lot better this morning though. So really, really, really positive signs. Uh, all right. I'm, I can't catch up with chat here. Yay, tennish. What's yay tennis about? Oh, tennis. Oh, yeah, tennis. <laughs> All right, let's get off this for a sec. Let's go to the live screen, shall we? Oh, wait. I went past it. Here we go. Live. Coming at you. Oh, I'm floating. Right. That uh, train's not doing crash hot at the moment. Look, passenger trains generally don't do well at this time of, uh, in this part period of the game just because of their low speed and... Low populations and stuff, so you're going to get that. Uh, we're definitely making all right money, though. Let's check what's going on with the scoreboard, because it does dip and pop and rise and everything. So we're looking... Uh, we've got a few lines here we probably need to get sorted out, but a lot of these lines here do tend to... Um, they pop in and out. Oh, we're losing our goods, um, goods factory up here. Not really worried about that, to be honest. What I kind of want to do today is uh, I've re-put in the conveyor belt system. So I've got the conveyor belt uh, system working, which we, we might be able to get this thing going because getting a road up here would just be ridiculous. Getting a conveyor belt system, however, probably less ridiculous, uh, which means we can feed fossil um, and then we could probably transport fuel back across the waters. But the, the key is trying to get these guys down here uh, Rift needs fuel. Dukin needs fuel. Lion's Rock doesn't really yet. We'll get a nice bridge just across this little span here, probably from Dukin to Lion's Rock. And that's probably going to help out. I'm very dehydrated today. I woke up very dehydrated and massive headache. So I've been smashing the water. Okay. 
Hi. Voltage rock and roll. This transport table to have wolves in it, Neon. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, we haven't seen our uh, Space Engineers series that we're streaming. Uh, Neon is constantly harassed by wolves. Right. Um, <laughs> they just love you. That's right. Forward slash command equals wolves attack Neon. Brackets semicolon every two minutes. <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, what do we got to today? Well, I still want to do some more stuff around here. I probably want to get these guys hooked up a little bit. What we need to do... I saw that picture you put up. They're all visiting you now, BC. I saw your base, BC. It's coming up nicely, hey? You're doing a lot of work out there. Yeah, that's... Maybe hey, Maybe that auto turret is not the right one, Amy. It might, Or it might be too high, Amy. It might be, actually be too high, so it can't probably angle down at the wolves that close. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just throwing some stuff out there. Right, um... I just need to pause here for a sec because there's a couple of things I haven't I haven't even got my head in the game today because of just everything that's been going on but I just knew I wanted to play we've got these tools up here and we've got this here and we've got some steel there ah, ha, 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 ha. this is what we're gonna work on today we're gonna work on getting some of this stuff the machine parts done so Strad can get some machine parts okay that's the first thing we're working on today team then we might try and check out some fuel if we can get this timber, some of these planks up the road here, we've got tools we can make. Tools. Looking at you, tools. Um, we're making steel, so that steel can actually get transported straight over to here. Oh, there is actually one thing I want to do later. Right, we'll get to that later. Yeah, so we can get that steel straight into here now, and we can get planks up there, machine parts straight into Stroud. Let's do it. Right, so, first thing we're doing is we're going to send a connection line from here. How many spots are taken on this, um... Alright, we can use... We're going to send a, um... Connection here. Yeah, thanks. It is on a bit of a downhill run, so we'll probably try and match that. Victory. Do you want to make it straight, Ham? Sure. You think tools are really weapons? <laughs> What's the saying in dodgeball? You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> and he throws one at his head. <laughs> uh, very good. I know, we're almost there. We should make it today. Good, make it today. Right. Uh, oh, now, great comment in the, one of the last episodes. Who was it? Who was it that made that comment? Let's bring it up because it was a great comment. Um, ah, yeah, here we go. I see you got the 1980, uh, then you got the new Navies. Yeah, which is brilliant because we can actually, this was the, uh, this is the brilliant thing. We can get the cargo planks and the food all in the one. So cargo planks and food factory. Um, I don't know how to pronounce. Is it um, Yalep? Is that is that how you pronounce it or Yalep? I I don't know how. But your tips and hints are being brilliant. Keep them coming and thank you very much for that. By the way. Um, No, 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 the Nafis, you are zero, don't, don't, you know lots about transport fever too, so don't sell yourself short, friend. Um, yeah, so we got the new Nafis, uh, wagons out, so, where's our, uh, train that's bringing the food down here? So, we might have to do an upgrade to both trains, and they can, it can probably, well, we, here's the thing, we either send a train, we send a, its own train all the way from here, hmm. Now, that would mean 
Send planks up. Food, food's a winner, but we're already doing food in a certain way where it's getting made here and then transported down here. That would mean then double shifting tools to be dropped there and then sent there. Whereas we could just send a tool up, a planks train to send all the way up here, drop in and send the planks into here from the station, which makes more sense. But what can we take back these guys need? Well, they're getting combats and they're getting food already. What we need these guys to do is grow to the next stage and potentially, hopefully, they can get fuel. So what we can actually do is we could send... This is getting sent upstream, is it? Where is it? No, it's getting brought into here. This is refining it. If we could send refined fuel up to here, then what we do is we put in our port here because this is, this is already... Um, this is pre-designed, ready to go for a port. That's what we're doing in here. Uh, I don't know if you guys, you, some of you may not remember or you may not have seen, but we're going to be putting in a nice big um, um, freight uh, port down in here in this corner, which will be really nice and connect up with this whole uh, freight, freight sort of deal down here. And that's going to be the direct connection to here as well, which means we could probably start transporting a lot of stuff by trains up to here and across the river, which is a much shorter trip. So better, better uh, uh rates we'll get out of that however for the interim it's not really going to help us get um get our planks up here right or get we well we can get our planks up there but it's going to be a one-way trip unless you are going to require machine parts which is not really going to help us we need you to start getting your next product up and i don't know how far away that is target population it's growing all right. Hmm. For the moment, we could, we could probably um, piggyback planks all the way up there on the trains we've got. But this line was designed to take freight trains to go straight across into here, though. And then loop back around and head, head back out. And that's how we've been doing it all. Hey, Fury, how are you, friendo? Oh, what's for dinner, friendo? Two weeks for the new badge stand. Look out. I think Amy's get Amy. Well, Amy's the first ever member on the channel. Uh huh. <laughs> Amy's going to beat you all. No, but that's brilliant. Thank you for that continued support as well. It's huge, guys. It's absolutely huge what you guys uh, have been supporting me, especially through these times where I've been, where I've just sort of been really unwell. So uh, it makes, it uh, does make a difference. So let's get this in first anyway. We can start sending steel there. That's, that's, uh, that's the easy part. The easy part we can do. Where do we want to make your... Um, I mean, this seems like a really good spot on this corner because that way it allows us to get some traffic in here as well. Seems like a great spot to have. Um... If I do this, I put in. <laughs> BC with a five bomber. Thank you, friendo. You didn't have to do that, mate. Welcome to the surreal taco. Hey, taco got one. Ian Smith, well done. Well over 50. What a great name. Uh, Tony Door and Thunderhorse. Congratulations to those guys. Thank you, BC. That that scared that kind of scared me then because I I've only just sort of I've been playing with what uh, <laughs> uh cheeky thank you mate huge as always <laughs> right um. I can squeeze one more in there. Can I get you in there? There. Not quite. 
That's fine. That's a that's an alright start. We've got a cheeky little one on the end here. That could probably be a drop off one. And these could be pickup ones. So for the moment we'll leave that. But I like this. So what it's gonna allow is for us to have trains passing there, trains passing here, and some vehicles coming around into here as well, which is gonna look really, really good. Look at this. Look at the roads, how lumpy and bumpy they are. We might have to put up a bit of a fence or retaining system just here. <laughs> well, it's facts though, Dan. Amy is going to be. Facts is facts. What have we got here? Ooh, station stuff. No, I just want some retaining wall stuff. I do like to use... Uh, we've got some girder bridge stuff here. Uh, where, ooh, I tell you what, this might not be bad through here, actually. We can, um, we can make that bigger. Can we? Yes. But make it like that big. Keep it short. Uh, yeah, that height. Yes. Will that work if I can maybe make it a bit longer then? Much curve. Way too much curve. Not quite going to work. Zero. Speaking of uh, memberships, eight months. Funny, it was Transport Fever 2 stream that was your first stream. Now that isn't thanks for all the entertainment crew. Yeah, I know. How good is it? Maybe that's not the right one. I generally use like, what have we got in this? Okay. That height. I do want something like, uh, what I want down here is something that looks stone and looks like it's been here for a while. Go the 10. Uh, is there a way we can get that curve? I don't think so. How do, uh, these have got the picture of the curved ones on them. Uh, yeah, they will just be curved. Okay, well, we'll go with this stone wall anyway. This is going to kind of work for what I need. I can play around with this stuff later, but the idea will be to do something like this. Nothing too extreme. Right. I like to do a bit of decoration stuff. You know I do, team. Slightly, it will just slightly be edgy with it. It doesn't have to be neat because it's a it's an old school stone wall, and they are never super neat. Right. And it's just going to fade down here, and we're just going to kind of stop it once the hill goes. Right. Yeah, that's that's coming up kind of good. It can it can kind of just stop there because you're not going to get rubble fall on the track from there. Barney rubble. Uh, and then we're going to tuck it up to that bridge just there. Now, I'm being very uh, one-dimensional with my build here. I could put some nice joinery bits in between it, like some timber and stuff, which would help it. Um, be perfect, perfect, but it still wants to be. Semi okay. But that's probably not too bad just there. And then what we'll do is we'll just blend that straight into the actual section like that, right? And then, yeah, I don't mind even. Ha oh, no, no, no. I, I don't mind having a bit of a gap, but that's too much of a gap. Right? It's kind of nice there. And then we'll just cover it up with some bushes and stuff. Nice when you kind of have a tree that can lean over the top of it and everything. These, yeah. They're a bit same-same, aren't they? 
That's a monster of a tree. I don't want that big. Because I want to see some vehicles come through here. There are some rocks and stuff here as well we can throw in. Not really going to throw rocks and stuff in right now. The best tree for um, covering up mistakes is actually the uh, mangroves. Mangroves are really good for just coverage. And you can get them poking out the bottom like that. And you get this really good like old school grass effect on them and everything. The mangroves are really good. And it's probably not a bad idea to have mangroves down around here because this is kind of, you would think, like a mangrovey kind of area. So that's kind of like you just sit them at the base like this, right? Get that nice coverage in there. Probably too big, but you, can, you, know, you know what I mean? You get that kind of nice look through there like that. Anyway, we can play with more of that later, but that's, that's kind of like what I wanted to do there. Yeah, I don't have rotate them on. I'll, I'll, I'll probably get rid of these ones and redo them. I'll leave one. Redo them later. But just so you get an idea, like through there. And then you can get some really nice um, picturesque shots here. And the road has a bit of purpose now. Like the road just doesn't look like it's going to cave straight down into the actual rail. Anyway, back to what we're doing. Get a line in. We're literally going from here. There, we're dropping off. I'm going to use this little drop-off point. I actually am going to use it. So Stroud East. Uh, let's go with one. Yeah, that's good. Come in, drop off, off you go. I'm also going to switch it to stop time minimum. Yep. Okay, I don't want you to stop in there for two. And then over here... Uh, yeah, that's perfect. So you're going to come straight up here, come around, bang, and out you go again. That's worked a treat. Now we'll get this sort of steely color there. We'll call it um, Stroud Steel Factory. Uh, no, what are we calling this? Stroud Steel Delivery. We have a lot of upgrades to do too as well. We need to upgrade a lot of um, uh, trucks and stuff. We've got, like we got coaches, we've got trucks and stuff that need upgrading, definitely. I love this I love this little Stroud Town, right? This Stroud Town is going to be, it's going to look really good once it grows up. I mean, look at this. They've got a lovely bridge through here. They've got like this nice hilly section. They've got the big port with the big freight station down tucked over the mountain. So it's kind of tucked away a little bit. And then they're going to have this beautiful rail line along the coast here. And they've got this lovely, like, I don't know. I think it's going to be a really cool little uh, town once it, once it grows up. The wife's sick today, so no gummy for temp. You're on, uh, you're on Dr. Judy's, um, Johnny. Can you come and be my doctor as well? So yesterday, yesterday, um, when i was really sick i it got to the point i because when i get this problem i end up being sick on the toilet like bleh, for about six or seven hours straight and then uh, i was like that and i am completely exhausted by then uh and i just i i was passed out on the floor so and then when they got me to go to the hospital they just found me on the floor <laughs> that's that's i just had no energy i was like i was walking like this and then I'd go to the toilet and I'd be like, Ugh, and just nothing. It's, it's the worst feeling. It's the worst, worst feeling. It's happened to me three times now. Okay, so that's done. We just need to get some vehicles on it. So let's go with uh, cargo. We've got the conveyor belts. We've got these cargo. Oh, these little cargo trucks. Take them. Let's uh, lift and shift a heap of steel. Let's stay. We'll just start with 10 for the moment. Stroud is down here. Stroud steel delivery. Uh, and that should be good. So you're getting, you're not getting a lot of coal. Honestly, the distance there, you'd be, you'd almost be better off with the train around of there. But what we can do is we can up the rate that we get the coal trucks in. What it's been is we've got plenty of um, iron ore coming in. And there's iron ore sitting over there as well. And iron ore there. We've got plenty of iron ore around. What we don't have is plenty of coal around. 
No coal down here. More iron there. Can we import some coal? Okay. No coal to import unless it's over here. But that's fine. We'll just deal... I mean, there's plenty of coal up on top of the mountain. We're not going to use that. I don't like using a lot of stuff. We're not going to use a lot of stuff up here until we are... Um, until we are... Hey, where's... Hey, where's... Lieutenant! Lieutenant. Welcome. How are you, friendo? What's happening, Wes? Welcome, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Wes. Thank you, friendo. Great support, as always. I hope you're well. Right, so let's work on uh, getting these planks, because this thing's pumping out plenty of planks. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to upgrade these vehicles. So we can get these things lifted and shifted a lot quicker. Go. Uh, same with these ones. 16. We could probably do with a few more. Bang. Go. We can leave potentially horse and carriage down here because we're getting plenty of deliveries down to these uh, little boats and stuff. These must be making all right money. When they're dropping, they're making all right money. Oh, look at this. You know what? We're getting a bit of a build up here. Manage vehicles. We're going to replace these with the with the latest fangdangled motorized vehicle as well, right? And then we're going to give you two more. Let's get six on there. Because you're getting combats and food. And we need to start getting that lifted and shifted a little bit more. Same with these planky boys here. I think the planky boys are okay. We'll, we'll, we'll sort of do upgrades to things as I deem necessary as we go because we don't want to rinse the budget and then have to wait around for three years trying to buy stuff. So we'll just be, we'll kind of be careful with what we do. Hey! Uh, is that Ivan? Thanks for the sub, Brendo. Welcome. Thanks for subscribing. Voltage rock and oh, we haven't done any trolleys yet, gang, have we? We haven't done any trams or trolleys. Ah, uh, where's right? I think what we're going to do, I'm not going to send the train down here. We are going to change up the trains. Right. We are going to piggyback these trains. I just got to do it. So it's going to be our food train here. Let's have a look at it. I take four. Here we go. Eight. They take all cargo eight. whoop -am! Brilliant. We've got a capacity of 133 at the moment. If we take all that out... Oh, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What? Uh, you're 200 meters long at 133 cap. Let's just make sure we don't go over that 200 meters. Two hundred and three at one thirty six or one twenty eight at one ninety two. Let's try that. It's got a it's gonna be poor. The train. We could probably up the train. Thirty seven miles an hour. We could probably put it to the PLM. It's got some good tractive effort. The MZA. Sharp Stewart built locomotives were one of the fastest O4Os used for cargo trains. We had that, right? Yeah, that's better. It goes back to mediocre. And it's going to be expensive to upgrade that train to that. And we're going to have to do it with two lots of trains because we've got to do this one that delivers up to the first uh, food factory. And then we've got to do the second train, which is going to pick up and take all the way back. Now we can do it. We just need six million bucks to do it. So what we'll do is we'll take... No, well, we can we can let money build up. 
So that's that's where we're going to go with that train. We're probably going to do the same with... Um, uh, is it train one or train two? Which one comes up to here? We need to name these trains. This train here. So this train here, oops, oops, this train here, it's at uh, 193 capacity at 314 meters. So straight off the bat, let's price this thing up. Wait, hang on. I didn't, I, I just completely forgot what I was doing. It's 193 cap, 314 meters. You're already looking at 7 million. It's going to be shorter. Okay, we, we've got to save a lot of money here. Let's, uh, let's hit the turbos. Let's get into the new century as well, shall we? And we'll buy these trains and that's going to help us so let's set the line up as well actually while we would just wait for a bit of money in because we can we can upgrade one of these trains and we'll, we'll come back and upgrade the next what we're going to do so from down here at the port which we haven't put in yet so i stopped calling it the port that's going to deliver how do we is there a quicker way to get to here no so you're going to have to come from here drive up there Drive through town down this way. Can you put in a uh, a, sh a turn off road off the bridge? Not really, but what I can actually do is I can use this road that we've got going in here. We can cross the rail. I like crossing rails. I like I like crossing rails. Is there a way we can cross it because you've got this whole mess going on here? So like yeah. Peter says no. Wait, did I have um? I've got build anyway on. That's uh, if you want to know, that's the mod. Oh, where? Oh, hang on. Uh, wait a minute. Where's it gone? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I didn't... I, hang on. Save the game. Save the game. Uh, what's this? You think there's a British-themed wagon? You have the wor uh, works the same for, uh, as the Navy... Shorter than if it only carries 70. Yeah, this one carries eight. We'll have a look at it again shortly. What's the, we'll check the price difference, two zero. Uh, I actually need to load the game. Select options. I didn't actually, I I tested this before, but I forgot to re-put it back in. Why? That's the no platform station. What are we talking about? Turbo and Cabulator. <laughs> I'll leave the lid off. The more I stand here, the sort of better I'm starting to feel, I'll be honest. Right, well. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you, I've got the mod that I, I can build anyway, so it's okay. Uh, right, so that should work now. Uh, we turn that on. This is the uh, this is the bridge, uh, zero bridge collision mod that uh, Zero posted. Um, 
uh, 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 uh. Plus, I don't like how that built anyway because it's actually going over the top of that line. So I don't actually like it. We might end up coming around the back here. Or okay, right down the... Down. So we could cross here. We'd like to do a crossing here. Right. Okay, that's kind of weird. I don't need you to do that. Just turn that off for a sec. So I don't need you to make a bridge of that, friendo. Um, bring you about here. Turn you down that way. I don't think bringing it around the back here is going to work. Could just, it could, we, you know what, we could just follow the track all the way around here, couldn't we? We could act legit, just do this. Keeping it nice and, nice and flat. Now that, that actually might not look so bad. But then we do have this bridge here, and the, look, the quick, I know the quickest way would probably just to be to do this. But I don't really want a bridge just pulling off from another bridge just like that. I think that looks kind of silly. Especially when, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think that would be great. The closest you could probably go is maybe there. You're still ending up with a bridge. Unless you do that. Not so bad. But then you've got this road here just doing nothing, unless this road... Yeah, I want to give this road some purpose. Once we get, once we get better vehicles, it's going to be so much better. Aren't we supposed to be saving money? Yep. Right, that's how that's going to go. Through there. Future proving it. Good attitude is half the battle. Good attitude is half. That's a good saying. Right. So that's nice. That's all done. That'll work a treat. Trucks can come around this way and into the station that way. Right. So let's set that line up now anyway. Uh, while we play and we fast forward. So, we're going to be going from here to yonder. So, this is going to be the first, this is going to be another drop off. We'll have you come in that one. Yeah, and that can be the pickup to drop into town. That sounds pretty good to me. This is going to be planks. What's a kind of planky color? Let's go with the custom color. Uh, let's go with, let's take this one and let. Let's get a nice browny planky color, shall we? Some kind of sandalwoody color. That's just brown. Yeah, it's a different brown though. So we'll go with that one. Yay! <laughs> planks. All right, not quite, but you get what I mean. Right, so this is going to be planks. Uh, it's going to be Stroud. Stroud. My dyslexia kicks in. Stroud, uh, planks. And, um, Stroud planks delivery. That's all it is. Why a truck? We're not going to get those trucks on yet. We're still saving a little bit of money. Yeah, we'll do this train first. We could take a bit of a loan out. Makes no difference. The good thing is we're going to be able to pick up a lot more. Actually, you know what? What do you got on board at the moment? You've just got grain. 193 grain. So, Zero, you're talking about...
You're talking about the British, it was a British one, yeah? Which British one are you talking about? Zero. Not this one. That only has a capacity of five, yeah? Yeah, it only has a capacity of five. That has six, but it only does grain. That's the cattle one. Yeah, definitely this one at eight. Or cargo. We'll take that one. Yeah. Even if we get you like that. Five. 152 cap. 76. If we can get around. Yeah, that's a bit. That's what we've got now. And then trains. We're going with the um, MZA. I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, we're going with the MZA. An 040. So we'll go with that one. And that's going to cost us nine squillion dollars. So we could drop a couple of wagons off the back of it. Or we could just take a loan. Right. So it's now being upgraded. And it's going to chug along doing its thing. That actually looks brilliant like that. And that's going to be bringing planks back as well as food. Brilliant. So, this is the next one just here. This is the one we have to upgrade now. I'm thinking that we do just take the loan. So, it's going to be a lot. Let's just let the money build up again a little bit now if we can. Hey, Centaur, how are you, friendo? Or we just take the loan. I don't think we've got enough loan in us. Loan 8 million. You're also going to be the MZA. I need you to be quick and I need you to be have got really good tractive effort. Thing. And we're going to run the same thing. Seven point nine. It can only be what? It can only be two hundred meters, though, can't it? That's right, isn't it? Two hundred meters. Yeah, it can only be two hundred meters. This one. That might be just too long, 209. It's going to have to be 198 at 128 cap. Which is just under what it is now, but that's not a bad thing. It will be moving a lot quicker, so it's not bad. It's going to cost $8 million. We're maxed out. Maximum loan. Okay, I didn't realize that we had a loan of $8 million still. Right, that's going to be hurting us. Alright, well, we're going to have to save the coin. Keep everything going. Maximum, maximum biscuits. Uh, what can we... Where can we... How can we? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this thing will... This thing will make money, though. When it drops in. I wonder if we should get this train going a bit quicker. If we can get this train going a bit quicker. Uh, it's got the maximum tank cars on it. If we just switch you out. But like the same train. You're going to move a lot quicker. It's going to cost two million to do that. I think we want to do that. If we can get this thing moving a little bit quicker. It can make money a lot quicker. Do I really want to waste the money on it? Well, it's, it's going to make money quicker.
I tell you what we can do to make money quicker. Uh, yeah, it's more it's more the attractive effort and stuff though. Zero the way it, you know if it if it's a poor if it's running poor, it means it's going to take off slower. It's just going to you know it will increase its time that way by being able to take off and hills and bridges and stuff like that. We haven't done any upgrades up here for a long time. And this is where we can actually make a little bit of money with these bad boys. Look at this old chugger. And it's bad. You know, oh, oh, this is where we can make some money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we just need to watch a couple of things here. Firstly, shipment. Oh, yeah, okay. Here's an upgrade that needs to happen. We need to put the vehicles on this. Look at these old... Look at these old things. Wow, I haven't been up here in ages. Managed to be... Okay, we can make a bit of money up here. Let's replace these with the um, cargo... These, bang, done. Replace. They are going to lift and shift a lot quicker up the hill. That's brilliant. Uh, also, with our delivery ones... The delivery ones, you know, manage the vehicles. We could probably cut those, cut four off that. And then the rest of them switch to the vehicles. Okay, gonna help that. Let's get a little bit more cargo cap on these. Okay. We'll even throw a building on there for you, so that's brilliant. Um, why is there a random gas station in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> Who the heck put that there? Wait. I didn't realize that I'd put that mod in. You wish this game had multiplayer? Yeah, I know. I know, Wes. We haven't, I haven't been up here since I put all this stuff in. Uh, you've got, um... 264. So you're, you, we can make a lot of coal out of you. Um, we can make a lot of money out of you. Uh, if we just, we can also send some planks. Got no timber. Oh, we've got timber there. Ooh, we could be sending timber up here. Um, what the heck's this? What's going on with this? That's going to get this thing working a little bit better. Which in turn means we mean we need more con mats. Our con mats are getting produced there, which means you need more stone. Got that stored. The shipment wise, okay. Manage the vehicle. There's two of them. It could be quite costly. Let's start with the wagons. That's the first way we can increase the money that we're making. Start with you, because you're about to do a pickup. Look at these old things. At 63 cap. I'm going to just pause you for a second. Uh, cargo. I could, I mean, I could run these. I don't need to. They're there a capacity of eight. We just need a gondola, because we're literally just taking... Coal and stone. There's seven at ten tons. These are ten tons at eight. The train doesn't go fifty though, ham. But when we upgrade it, it will. I just max out our loan. I can get you to at least a hundred, which I can't. Okay, we'll do that. We'll see how that goes for a second. Is that when this gets up the other end, it's already going to bring back a lot more. That train definitely needs to be replaced. Yeah, I think it did zero. It it must have. It's funny because I don't remember putting that that gas station mod in. Hey, we've got flatbed trucks now. The year 1894. I just want to see 
Oh, whoa, there's an upgrade we need to make. These things. Well, that'll uh, speed up things a little bit. Also, then we're limited to the road speed that we've got here with the dirt as well, which is only 25 miles an hour. Uh, which is fine because our carts don't do 25. But these... No, the flatbed truck now. That takes six. That takes six. Ah, uh, that does 16 miles. Yeah, so we're only doing 16 miles. Whereas those old things... Wow. They're, they're basically doubling the speed. Right, so this thing is what I want to see. It's, it's now loaded up. We've got three million. I, I do want to... Just vehicle. Increase the capacity at which this is uh, taking stuff. I want to add just a couple more on it. And then we can work on the other one. 120 capacity. If I can get you to like one. You're very poor. Even on the flat. What's the speed of that steam train? What are we running on that? The GV. GV still in our car. Yeah, the GV here. At 34. So even on the flat, you're still going to do 34. Medium, you're going to do 14 and high. Not enough power to get up the high ones. Mm. So we'd need to switch that train out. Something a little bit better. What's the... Uh... There is something I just saw here that I, lo I, I love this train. I think it's the uh, the 10 wheel. Uh, no, not the 10 wheel. What's it called? I think I just saw it. And I do like the train. Maybe it's not here yet. Ah, I thought I saw the train that I really like, but I didn't. Maybe it does. Your 360, if I added you, or that, but I could knock a couple of wagons off it. Still have it at 120 cap. Okay, I'm just going to get you to, yeah, you can just keep going. Now, that's going to be quicker than the other train we've got, but as soon as we get the money, we're going to upgrade the other train. Yeah, this one. Now, what it hopefully in turn will mean... Oh, these... Ve no, well, they're just shifting between there and there. These vehicles could probably do with an upgrade as well. Look at these little truck stops. It's so ridiculous. It gives the, it gives the trucks. Hull and... Uh, and then give me... A I don't need you to be profitable. I just need you to lift and shift everything as fast as possible. Look at all that in there. Right. That's fine. Need that shipment to increase. So as soon as... Oh, we're 1.7 in the hole. When this thing lands, though, it should make a decent amount of money. So let's keep an eye on this because I want to see how much this makes. You miss the little steam trucks? They're good, aren't they, Tools? I love the little steam trucks. Anchor. Howdy. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. This is the moment. Very tight turn. Almost a mil. Not really helping us though, is it? We really need to reel this dead in. I've been spending bucket loads, but we've got to spend money to make money. You know what I always say? Spend it to make it. We've maxed out the loan. We're at maximum loanage. This thing here is costing us money. It just takes way too long.
I keep an eye on that when it lands. When, once we get this, uh, he, and here's the thing. <laughs> do I need a loan from Dan and yourself? Yes, I do. What, um, when we get this thing working two ways, it's going to start making bucket loads of money. Same with the other train. It's going to be awesome. Once we get these trains working two ways, it's going to be brilliant. Uh, but this is where the struggle is going to happen. This is when the magic of making videos is really good because I can just put a cut in and, and stop wasting everyone's time with just waiting for money to build up. All right, so we need to start getting profitable. This uh, Hank Riff crude train, when it drops, it will make a bit of money as well. So there you go. It should have just made a bit of money. Right, so the passenger train's still not doing us any, any favours either. The passenger trains are killing us. The ships are killing us. Right, we're starting to... We're getting them back. We're getting back in front. We're getting back in front here. Yeah, so you can see this thing's just running empty one way is not helping it. Hey, Keith, how are you, friendo? How have you been, Keith? First thing we're going to do on this other train... Look, you can see the speed difference in the two of them. See how this one's already caught up to this one. So getting the frequency of these up, if we can get, if we can put that other train on it now, it'll be really good. Even if we just do that, modify it for 2 million. I can't afford that yet. I'm going to wait till we get the money. 1.3, come on. Get ready to click. Get ready to click. 1.5. Bang, take it. <laughs> I just snuck it in. All right, so that's the first major part done. Next major part is we've got to do the wagons on it. <laughs> so this one has the capacity of 180, uh, 120. 120, not a thing. So the next thing we want to do is um, get this to 120. Right, and that's going to cost us another five million dollars. Hey, what was that farm that was closing? Right, you just, uh, everyone just chill out. Right, send all that away. We'll let the money build up. This farm up here, this old farm, it said no. It said I won't go, go, go with any neck patty work. Get rid of the farm. Right, some vehicles that need upgrading are these vehicles down here also which will help um, in turn make more money. And especially these vehicles that probably drop the food off. Yeah, definitely those first, I would think. The suppliers for that. Manage the vehicles. We've got 30 vehicles on there. Uh, at a rate of 68. Frequency of 43. They make all right money. Yeah. If we just take... Say... What's that? That's uh, seven. Shift. Shift and uh, whatever doesn't work for that. Shift there. Let's just take half of them. What's it going to cost to upgrade half of them? 704,000, which we don't have at the moment. Dublin goods factory closing too. Yeah, that's okay. I'm not too worried about the goods factories at the moment. Um, uh, purely because goods factories are like this, this one here. Uh, goods factories are really kind of like think about what you got to do. You got to get plastics made. So to get plastics made, you need to get refined fuel to the plastics factory. Then you got to get yeah. It's it's this is a little bit harder to get going off the, early on. Um, so I'm not really worried about that. Even though we lost the one over here, and we're about to lose that one, there's nothing I can do about it. 
difficult to supply to early on, especially when we're already under budget constraints. What we need to do is raise raise taxes. <laughs> raise them taxes. Right, so these two trains are up and running. I want to get them separate again now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to just stop. I know this is going to hurt me money-wise, but I want to get them working at a at their... I want to get them at their equidistance again so they're not they're not right behind each other because what happens is this one will pick up a load and cannibalize how much this one can actually take. So we want to actually just get this one up up the hill. But once he gets up there, we can then set this off again. Now it's losing its money by doing this. I'm aware. Oh, we've got to do it. It is being slowed down by the wagons itself, but we're about to rectify that as well. Let's get you going again now. You know you're not quite all the way up there, but I need that money. I need that money. So what we'll do now is we will go ahead and... What are we at? 63 caps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on as much as I can put on. So I can get 64 cap on there, which is about the same, which is actually going to mean that these... You just stop again for a second for me, please. Actually, you back up. Back up. See if we can pick up a little... No, no, no. Back up, buddy. And by the time you get up to the top up here, you're coming around the bend. Go forward again now. Maybe you'll just pick up a little bit more for us. There we go. Pick up a little bit more. And they should be running at a good um, a good spacing again. And they should be running at similar speeds. Now this one does have to come uphill. It's bigger. Uh, but we will get the, uh, the ones on that. So we've got to put another 60-odd um, capacity on that thing. And then that's going to really help us start to reel in that money a little bit more. Because these, these were good money makers at the start. We can get these good money makers going again. Look at this. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, these trucks. It would have been good to get a train just shunting up and down here, but that road... Ugh, that road. Right, how are we looking here for coal? Could upgrade these trucks. We can start lifting and shifting a little bit more coal out of here as well. So next thing we want to do is upgrade these trucks because we're going to have increased capacity to take that coal away. So manage the vehicles. Uh, it's a process. It's always a bit of a process, isn't it? What do you take? You take. We could run a conveyor belt system that would just constantly do it, and therefore we don't actually have to run with the actual vehicles. We still have to pay for the cargo conveyor belt vehicles themselves. Uh, so we'll stick with the vehicles anyway. Replace for one point five. Right, brilliant. Done. That's going to really ramp up um, how much coal we can get on the deck here. Okay. We're getting there. Once we get these upgraded and they do a few runs, we should be making good, good coin. Now, where's the train? Short one. These were in dire needs of an upgrade, weren't they? So, we're going to be increasing you to 120, like that. You're going to cost 2.6 to do that. All right, I'm going to take... I'm going to take a quick buy break to, just to grab some more water and stuff. Um, let's, put a, uh, let's put a track ride on. You know what? Let's track ride. Oh, let's track ride the little passenger train, the little QR tra train we've got down here. And we can, it'll, it'll be a really good indication of what's, what... Actually, I do want to leave you like that. We're going to leave it on three times. I'm going to turn my camera off here for a sec. Uh, and I'm just going to take a quick bio break and grab... Oh, save. And grab this. There you go. Uh, you're going to be running pretty quick, but it's going to allow me just to save money while I go to the... Go and take a bio break and grab water. One sec.
Alright, how we doing? I'll just take the camera off so you're not seeing me float. Be sweet and wipe the seat. It wasn't that. Uh, it wasn't that kind of um, <laughs> toilet break. Yeah, hey, Anchor. Giving Hanky some treaties as well. Right. Um, how are we doing money wise? Oh, yeah, that's what I like to see. Bit of money in the bank. How do you like me now? Upgrade. Brilliant. All right, let's also knock back some loan. All right, get that loan down. That'd be really good. So instantly, those are going to be really good money makers for us. Capacity of two ninety nine on the deck. Still, we could even increase the capacity of those. Look, so even though they're doing two way, it's not brilliant with the stone. But what is brilliant is the coal. Okay, the coal is uh, the coal is saving the day for us. So that brings us back down to here. Now, a train, a train. Here it is. So this thing is actually making good money. Wait till it goes two ways and it makes good money. Well over fifty. No, you shoes stink funny. <laughs> Great name, by the way. You might have missed it before, but you got gifted a sub by uh, the bearded cobra. So congratulations, and um, and then I said, what a brilliant name, by the way. What a brilliant name. Right, so what we're going to do, now that we've up, done some upgrades and we're making a good little um, click up there, I'm going to see how this train goes when it gets in. It should be making the right money. When this train gets in... Uh, I don't need to watch that, actually. What we need to do now is upgrade this um, this train down here. So, let's price up this now and see what we've got. So, instantly, we're going to do the train first. Let's do the train first. Let's put the train on that we want. We're just going to stick with what we've been sticking with because we're, we're all about making the money now. So, you're going to cost $2 million. Okay, let's buy that when it's done. It will be limited by the by the wagons, I understand, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Tools. I was on a roll. Is that after your barts are in joke? Ah, oh, damn, it just dropped out. 50 has vids up. Uh, what do you mean, tools? It's, uh, 50, are you a content creator? You do YouTube and stuff? Right. So, we need, we need to check out your channel. Right, so the train's done. Next, let's price up. Wait, 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 wait. So we are at 206. Price up this now. And we don't go over that 206. We're very limited by our um, our station down here. I think we should be safe and keep it at that. So 4 million we're looking for. Ah, Stephen. I love Stephen. Steven's a great, great friendo. He does great Transport Fever 2 content. And he's got a really good voice. <laughs> you just got quite a few hours in the game. It's a brilliant game, isn't it? I mean, all look, back in the day, um, all the Sid Meier's games and stuff, you know, I always wanted more and more and then when train fever came out it was brilliant and then transport fever and then transport fever 2 has just been better and better so really looking forward to see what they come out with in the next iteration as well brilliant game 
It'll be a staple on my channel forever and a day. It's it's what started my channel, basically. I, I've got lots of videos before Transport Fever 2, but it was the real sort of series I did started off my channel that I really, really enjoyed doing. So, yeah. Uh, we just need another, what, uh, couple of mil, uh, couple of mil here, which we're actually making not too bad. I could take the loan out and do it. Go on, then. Take the money back and get that, um, get that upgraded. Bang. Right. Excellent. Pause. Everything pause right now. So, we are now at the point where we can tell this. We, we, we're going to buy some vehicles down here. We can tell it, hey, buy vehicles. We'll go with, uh, we just need plank vehicles. So, we'll go with these ones. The flatbed. Let's just start off with uh, what we can afford. Oh, we can afford quite a few. So let's say uh, 16, because I love even numbers. Uh, we're going to send you guys... Oh, the 16 is probably overkill, but I don't really care at the moment. Uh, it's Stroud Planks, isn't it? Stroud Planks delivery. Right, so good, good, good. I wonder what's quicker. Well, clearly, actually, the so the, the game has the choice on what's quicker. It's still quicker for the game to go out... And around down to here as it is supposed to go up that way that's good to know all right so the last thing we need to do now is buy vehicles uh did i buy the vehicles for here i did so these should already be delivering steel down here right they are so the last thing we need to do is set up the line Goes from here and drops into town. Now, where... I know there's a truck stop there. Let's have a look right now. Oh, no, brown car. Get with the 24 meter. Uh, machine parts are down this side of town. Get a, uh, let's get a uh, truck stop down here, but we'll use the uh, 24 meter. Uh, you know what? We'll make it... Make it uh, down here. Sure we will. Okay, so our line. Yent. And that's going to be machine parts, right? Okay, so. All right. This is going to help increase the growth of Stroud. Brilliant. What we want. But hopefully start making us a little bit more money. Uh, do I want to go MPs? Maybe we'll just go MPs. Okay. Uh, MPs. MP. Um, Stroud. No, what are we doing? Ham. You're doing, you're doing town names first. I am. Stroud. Uh, we will call it machine parts. Machine. P's. Delivery. Don't need delivery. Just say truck. Just saying truck. Enter. Right. Um... Get some trucks for it. Buy some more vehicles. Delivery trucks, please. I'll have six to start with. Set that on Stroud. Machine parts, delivery trucks. Now, these trucks down here, right, that should start to kick off a bit of a uh, a bit of a thing down here to say, okay, where are you? Where are you? Let's just have a look here right now. Stroud Machines Factory. Don't you love when a plan works? Holy moly. I have to I think we have to check that out. Well over 50. That sounds that that sounds really cool. Danzella, your ex girlfriend owned a uh, a parkit. Oh my god, that thing would never shut up. Oh, a parakeet. Sorry. Oh yeah, so your ex girlfriend owned a parakeet. Oh my god, that thing wouldn't shut up. But the bird was, but the bird was cool.
Sorry, my eyes are a little bit... Maybe I need glasses. Maybe I need to get my glasses on these days. I thought you... I thought it wrote Parker. I was like, why would you... What are you telling me about your ex-girlfriend owning a Parker? But I, I need to... Use your eyes, Ham. Read better. <laughs> you had the Parker? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Parakeet. I don't, know, I don't know what it's like for everyone else in their countries, but in Australia we have like um, cockatiels, cockatoos, a lot of those really screechy birds, you know, with the big, the, the white ones or with the yellow stripe or they're pink and grey. We get a lot of those um, in massive flocks and I get a lot of them around me in my area because I live in a very, I live in the suburbs close to, the, close to a big sort of city area, but we have a lot of farms around where I am, cattle farms, horse farms, as um, there's grass farms that do, um, you know, for, gra for making grass for places and stuff. A uh, lot of farm area around here. It's 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 slowly being swallowed up by development, which is kind of sad, uh, but it's the way of the world. And um, we get flocks of cockatiels and, and uh, cockatoos and stuff. And boy, oh boy, they screech and they make so much noise in the. It's mostly in the afternoons is when they're really active. In the afternoons and just after it starts to stop raining they love it they come out i think they have a bit of a bath and they're squawking and screeching and right where's our train here because we want to check on it. enough enough story time here we go yes it's got some planks right it's not brilliant but it's a start okay it's a start hopefully that means that production down here is going to increase so what we actually want to do is um these trucks here we're going to tell you guys that you can have uh, flatbeds. Now, these are 16 miles an hour, but they're only five. So we'll go the flatbeds on this, which is cold as well. Okay. All right, we'll upgrade them. That takes one capacity a little bit more. You've got 219 on there, so that means we could probably get some more vehicles on this. So let's take... That gets us to 31... Gets us to 34. Do that. Get uh, get 34 vehicles on that. Right. Now we're starting to roll. Rock and roll. We are on hard difficulty. We're not on the hardest difficulty, but we are on hard difficulty. Sulfur crested. Don't know. I don't know much about birds uh, tools. I don't know a lot about birds. My nana, big into birds. I don't know a lot about them. All I know is there's a few. Uh, and they're cockatiels and cockatoos in the afternoons and evenings. They're like, they're um, they're they're like a grey or silver with uh, with pink. A lot of them. They're the cockatiels, I think, aren't they? Can't remember. Oh, they're they're a nuisance. Worth thousands, there are they? Wow. Okay. Those little hummingbirds you've got up there are quite cute, aren't they? That little road. What's going on with this road? Can I just fix this road? I don't like it. We also make... You know what? You know what? That road's horrible. Make that a bigger road too, and um, no doubt the AI is gonna build up here. That, that, that in my mind's a little bit better. All right, we're starting to make a good little click here. How about we start paying back a little loan again? Brilliant! Right there, it is the ten wheeler. One of my favourite trains in Transport Fever Two, the ten wheeler. Like. You got the memory of an elephant. I remember one time I went to the zoo and I saw an elephant. Oh dear. It's not even... It, hurt, it hurts me to laugh. It's not even Dad Joke Friday. Oh, I can't wait till Friday. Um, so tomorrow, gang, we're going to check out Lightyear Frontier. Um, it's out and about now. Uh, it will be up on the channel after the, today's stream. I'll put it up for the timing. Same time as today kickoff. But we're going to be playing um, Lightyear Frontier. Uh, neon, uh, like flying beavers, they can choose through everything. Yep.
Dan says, This morning, I made a Belgian waffle. This afternoon, I made a Frenchman talk rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh cold water. Alright. How are we looking down here? Well, only 27 on there. How are you guys going for supply? Okay, now's the time where I think what we do is we uh, manage these vehicles because these are not going to be enough. We're going to replace you with uh, them. And we're going to double them. Yep. Uh, because we've got how much on the deck over here? We've got 67 on the deck. Okay. Now, this station in itself, we could probably figure it. Let's start to maybe put a bit of a crane there and uh, get that there. Yeah, that kind of looks good. And then we can put another lock on the end of that which is fine and then that will come around the back there later at some point for some reason or another and that uh, that's going to work out much much better for us i love these little steam trucks right you know what this has got me excited for i want to start we haven't done any trams yet centaur says what what is five toes it is not your foot. It's my foot. It's so stupid, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, he says it's it's been a long time since I've seen any beavers, let alone flying ones. <laughs> That's what she said. Alright, keep going. Oh, it's not even that. that hurts. Oh, my side hurts. All right, how are we looking down here now? Looking good. How much money are you making? Have you started bringing back yet? All right, look at the... Yes, finances have increased. All right, brilliant. Uh, that'll be due to rate as well, at the rate at which we can get stuff there. But things are starting to look a little bit better. Where's my... um? This is my old mate trainee. Come on, here he is. Is that the one? Let's just ride on board and watch this for a little bit, shall we? So it is taking a full load of, load of fuel. It's not making brilliant money, but it's here's the thing. This train was um, well in the hole a lot. So we want to just kind of keep our eye on this thing a little bit. Alright, that's where we started. That's when we've just purchased everything. So we're we're only here. We're only just watching here now. Through all the trees. Really happy with how this area down here is coming along now. I've still got passenger... Ah, oh, okay, we're going to have to fix all that. I've still got passenger vehicles going out to the harbour at Rift, and we've stopped that ship ages ago. That ship has sailed. One thing we do need to do now, we need to work on fuel. If we can start getting some fuel supplied to place... It's been the hardest thing, is trying to figure out how to get the fuel done. It's going to be interesting to see what we can load up with. With now the increased capacity, uh, the increased... Ca oh, the other thing I want to do is I want to just see if I can increase. That's looking a little bit better. Every time it comes down, it's getting a little bit more and more. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, wait, pause. You can fit uh, maybe a couple of more wagons. Hey, look at this. Uh, I think, therefore I have a brain. We can, uh, we can squeeze maybe a couple more wagons on that. Add one, maybe two. Is that too long? 
No, that should be okay. What are you actually waiting for, though? Oh, you're waiting for this train to come down, eh? Why not got signals on there? Also, see how they're running this track I've got running opposite to normally how the tracks run? Yeah, that's better. Okay, we've got you going now. Yeah, that's good. Keep you flowing. Keep it flowing. I was waiting for that one, which was all the way up there, which is quite odd. That also probably is not helping with the price of things. Right, next. We've got a uh, we've got 16 people on there. These things aren't making brilliant money. I think the key down here is we want to get some passenger service heading up the coastline and connected into here now. I kind of wanted to get fuel going. Do we want to look at some fuel, gang? Oh. I <laughs> how... That hurts to laugh. I just read what you wrote, 50. Brilliant. You used to, uh, Johnny, you used to drive subway. Subway work cars in reverse operation. Always gave you, uh, always gave you the frights. Why is that, Johnny? Why is that? Right, I think what we've got to do We've got this here. Oh, one thing we can do today, it's uh, uh, probably something we should be looking at doing. Now, we've got this beautiful, look at this, this goat tracked road here, which I absolutely love. I've got to do some upgrades of the vehicles here. Look, look at all the stuff we've got sitting on the deck. And these vehicles need upgrading. I've got 34 of them. I'm going to leave 34 of them, but we're going to simply uh, put this on. Bang, go. Done. That's going to massively help that out. Now, these vehicles down here. Manage the vehicles. We'll replace those two. We're just going to replace them um, with uh, all. Right, that's going to help production of that up. The vehicles are going to be much better for goat tracking. Also, one thing I haven't done is I haven't put any railings on here. Which is like these. I wouldn't mind uh, I wouldn't mind just getting some railings on there. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. I'd love to see here's one thing I'd love to see in the next iteration of Transport Fever 2 is a control Z an undo feature. <laughs> Dave, it's a tennis injury. It's definitely a tennis injury. No, Dave, it's just the medical stuff I've had going on in the background for the last few months. It, it hit me again yesterday. It's why we didn't live stream yesterday. Uh, but I, uh, I've, yeah, it put me in hospital again yesterday. So. It should be right like this way, I think. They're mighty close, aren't they? You know, I don't know if I'm a big fan of these on here at the moment. But I'll leave it. Yeah, actually, they look alright. They look alright. I take it back. Uh, so Johnny says, uh, my follow-up question that I asked him, you can't see the signals and you are relying on a uh, watch person giving you a hand, uh, giving you hand signals. And there's subway cars in front of you and behind you. Yeah, so that would actually be quite scary, wouldn't it, actually? And imagine how much money it would cost if you damaged them as well. Not something you really want to go through, I would assume. So yeah, I can see, Johnny, how... Uh, that would be kind of like, you'd be like, I don't really want to do this. Do I have to? 
But at the same time, cool experience. Not everyone gets to do that, Johnny. Remember that. Imagine how many people would love to be in that situation. So that's just going to end there. Been meaning to do this for a while. We're just gonna. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, we've made some good decisions today, team, with this money. Right, we can go back to. um, Go back to here now. So, next, we're gonna upgrade the trains over here, actually. Have you like that? You can actually, uh, you can actually finish. You can actually finish. There. Uh, ooh. Look how sketchy this looks. And you can start again. Yeah, you can start again here. We've got to put the safety in, or oh, or Johnny. Oh, really? Or Johnny and MGL. Oh, really? Game. Yeah, Johnny and MGL are going to have the uh, union on me if I don't uh, put safety railing in, right? We've only got just this little bit and then we're done. Okay, brilliant. That's what we're doing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at this sketchy bit of road. I kind of want to um, fix up the hill down there. I might do that later. Just might add a little bit more in here. This is sketch a rama up here. It definitely needs a um, bit of railing. And a little bit, yeah. Okay. That'll do that. Okay. That's gonna help. Uh, that's gonna help those vehicles never crash off the edge. I think that looks all right. So we do have to upgrade these trains. By the way, there is a holy tools, Batman. Right. Let's have a look at these two trains that are struggling massively. Right. Manage the vehicle. Both of them are going to need an upgrade. So the first thing we're going to do, like we did last time, is we're going to switch out the engines. We're going to go with the 10-wheeler, because I love this train. I love the 10-wheeler so much. Oh, one of my favourite favorite trains in the game look at it i'd love to look at it but we're in a oh i was gonna clean i was gonna fix this massive canyon we've got here as well i kind of want to wait till we upgrade the uh wagons on these things as well all right so we've got money coming in so manage that vehicle you're 86 cap right now how much uh, combats have we got sitting on the deck here still plenty right these can do with some massive upgrades the only trouble is we might have to upgrade all of this stuff. Because I don't think their turnarounds can um, handle it. They're going to pull in. All right, we're going to have to see. Where's the other one? Keep you there. 
Where's your friend though? Alright, well we'll start with this one. We're gonna manage you first. I'll keep you pinned up there for a sec. Let's speed you up because I want to get you. Um, I want to get you to the station so I can see what's how long I can make this. Twenty bucks worth of rotten wood, and you call that safety? In eighteen ninety six, I do. <laughs> Maybe not in today's standards, but definitely in eighteen ninety six. I also want to put some trams in today. I love this tunnel, by the way. I don't know why, I just love it. Let's be honest, safety standards in the 1800s weren't exactly top of the top of the priority for things. Right, looks like we can do a heap of capacity. Manage the vehicle. Edit this. Um, we're literally just going to run these again. Give me, um, um go. That's going to mean we can pick up bucket loads of combats at 152 cap. So let's instantly, once we make a little bit more money, I want to check your turnaround here because if we can add a couple of more on the end of that, Right. You can probably just take a couple. Oh. Going on with that. Yeah, that's better. Right, so your capacity. 150. That's right. Capacity of 168. Okay. That's going to cost 7.7 .7 to do that. We should make that in no time. Oh, actually, I did want that train up because I actually want to see How much you make when you land in. Right, so let's just worry about that in a sec. We can upgrade that one in a sec. Uh, let's follow this one for a second. So these things are going to go a bit quicker. They're going to make a little bit more money. And that's all we want them to do. Because they can carry a lot more capacity. Sending kids down coal mines was backbone building. It's all gone to the pot since. I, I know, blooming <laughs> safety helps. <laughs> uh, plus one undo. Uh, yeah, I, I might, if that, if, uh, I haven't even checked that. I probably would prefer control Z because control Z just seems to be Thing. Okay, how are we looking here for our turnarounds? This is what we need to check as well. We might need to extend the length of this. Which, uh... Oh, I can't. Oh, these vehicles need to get upgraded. Look at these things. They definitely need an upgrade. Right, we'll do them after the train. Right, I need to make sure that this thing can turn around, which I don't think it can. We're going to be stuck here, aren't we? Um. You bugger on toast. You absolute bugger on toast. Just gonna stop you for a sec while I just try and sort this out, please. Pause. Right, we're gonna get you come back the other way here again. Now, this thing here, this station, 
is what? 240. I need you to just be a little bit. I need you to be like 280. I don't know if that's going to fit in because of that. I'll have to have a look. Uh, you're also Portuguese rail. Standard wooden sleepers. No, not for bridges, not for bridges. Portuguese wood. Oh, I knew it. Uh, that's okay. We can switch this. Be the other side. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's the case. Make this look then. Right. That should have everything going again nicely. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, what was it costing? Seven million to upgrade that train, wasn't it? We're just going to have to hold out. Uh, how much did you make for it? That's looking a little bit... Well, I don't know, actually. We're just going to have to wait till we see what this tools drop off is. That took a lot of tools just then. That dried up a lot of tools on the deck. It's actually brilliant. Which means we probably need to upgrade... Oh, hang on. Ooh, yeah, these vehicles here have needed a massive upgrade. Um, all right, well, we've got to do this. And just the vehicles. Upgrade these, switch them out. For... They're just bringing combats up, aren't they? Right. And uh, the ones on here, yeah, the tools ones, and it's, they're also taking some combats, which is actually not bad. They can run with that. Okay. That's just going to help lift and shift that a little bit quicker. Right. Oh, yeah, I see. I see. That was just a save, that wasn't it? Okay. Uh, we still need to upgrade this train. Which I think was seven squillion dollars. And what did we say? 168. Capacity. Capacity of 168. This. Oh, Johnny. Not tonight, Johnny. You're on Dr. Judy's. Uh, tools, I think they're still working on it, though. <laughs> think about the um, coding that would be in this game to try and get everything to talk to each other. I definitely would like to see a Tycoon-style Transport Fever 2 where where you've, you're reversing other companies. So that's probably what I'd like to see next time for the game. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, right. Um, yes. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, so I'd probably like to see that for the game next time. Let's configure you. I wonder if we can just get rid of that. Maybe add one more bit of track. I don't know if we're going to be able to, but we'll try. We'll give this a bit of a uh, give it a bit of a go, which we can. But uh, um. And, uh, and, uh, and, ah, uh, ooh, we don't actually need you to, I will put the building there. That's living on the edge, isn't it? That's what I call living on the edge. Right, so see how you go with that now. Ah, oh, wrong train ham, wrong train ham. That should have it fixed, should it not?
Equals report following problems. No path. Uh... Okay, there you got a path. Right, oh, we, let's upgrade you now, by the way. Um, I just have vehicle, because we can do that now. Got it sorted. Eight. Right, right. Go. Right, so plenty of combats on the deck here. 450. Who's having troubles now? I've made them s oh okay okay you guys are taking the mickey well that's no drama because what we can actually do here shorten you around a little bit further i think how do we have this working and then we don't have it working Also, you don't have enough money, Ann. That will do it. That actually probably works a little bit better. Um, get these things again. That's going to fix that. That's not brilliant, but I'll take it. It's that little bump and curve there that I don't like. Right, so best thing to do is probably do this, right? Get you in like that, if I can. I'm going to build it anyway, because there is no frigging collision game. You're off your tree, there's no collision. Right? You're off your head. And put that in there. I love that new mod, by the way, Zero. Thank you very much for that suggestion. And that should get that sorted. Oh, I know what the problem is because I've always I've got it in reverse. Right, off you go. Right, we're good, we're good, we're running, we're rolling. Just flip it. Yeah, I actually don't mind that because we've cleaned up that junction a little bit anyway, which I hated for so long. Whoa, 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 for the longest time. Now, I'm just wondering if we should. As much as I love this goat track, can we not. The, the mountains make it really hard. Let's say I love this goat track. I'm just wondering if a conveyor belt down to here would be much quicker. Need it to be. We just probably need more vehicles on there. But there's 380 of that. Once we start getting bigger trucks, though, bigger trucks is going to help us. So I'm just going to leave it because they seem to be doing all right. There's 139. I think they're going to be all right. They're going to be fine. We're going to be making money in no time, which means look at all the combat sitting on the deck here. Which I wonder if manage the vehicles we can upgrade these ships yet. If these ships They're making alright money now actually. They're coming full. How much is on the deck here? 100. Right, so if we tell these ships Hey ships the clippers. I love the clippers. I want to find some place to put the clippers on the map because I always love having just a uh, even even when it gets into the uh, 1990s to 2000s in the game. I still love seeing some big ships with big sails going past as a bit of like a uh, a memory thing. Uh, right, so this takes 100 at all. It does only 16 miles an hour. The riggies do 16, so that's fine. Go with that. Let's go with the Denara castles. See how that goes for a bit. Ah, oh, we don't have large ports. Balls, everything. <laughs> this port can't take large ships. For the longest time. Put that on there, that'll sort it. Well, it was always going to be a thing, wasn't it? Always. Now take large one.
Unless we can somehow... No way to configure it either. It, it, it is what it is. Uh, just trying to have a bit of a think here. It's either leave them and put in another port. Or just put in two more ships. Two more ships is not a bad idea. Okay. Go back to that, the riggy. Um, and then double them. Right. But before you just send them out and about, you've, uh, you know what? Just send them out and about. They'll spread out. They'll do their thing. Actually, you know what? 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 Where are you actually buying those ships, by the way? Oh, here. Okay. I'm going to send you the other way. Off you go. Yep, brilliant. That, uh, that kind of works then, because you're heading that way. You'll follow that one. You're heading that way. You'll follow that one. Uh, and never shall the two meet. I'm going to stop these two. Just for a moment. Uh, and I'll wait for each each ship down here to get to their actual ports. Wait till you just pull into your port. You're about to pull in. And I'll wait till you go again. And I'll wait till you pull in and then you can go. And that way it'll get a good spacing. Yes, it's been, I've been using, I've been using no flip for a long time, um, 50, only because, um, go. Uh, yeah, I just prefer it that way, and you can go. I just think it feels a little bit more realistic, realistic, and then when you get into the modern trains, right, because a lot of the passenger trains do actually go, they can pull into a, a, a um, they can pull into a um, a train stop like this and they can just go in reverse anyway because that's the way they're designed. So I like it for that reason. It's a bit, little bit, it just adds that little bit of like immersion, I guess. And it makes you have to think a little bit more about your builds too rather than just build, flip, off you go. It actually makes you think about your track layout a little bit more, which I really enjoy that about the game. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm good, good. I've really got to get the mod list updated for this uh, playthrough and put it on Steam as well. Because I only just, a, a couple of episodes ago, I only just added a lot more mods on. So I've got to really get that updated. Right, down here at Huntsman, we wanted to upgrade all these vehicles. This has been a good day for doing a lot of this upgrade stuff. Manage the vehicles, you guys are going to get uh, the flat. No, we're going to go with this one. Right, that's going to help you guys out. And then um, this one, manage the vehicles. You guys can have flatbeds. Right. I want to build some trams. However, okay, chat. Now, this is what we're going to do. Uh, well, there's a couple of things I want to work on. It's fuel, and I want to put some trams in. Now, between Hankston, Stroud, at Huntsman, and Fossil... They're the towns I'm going to give you. Fossil, Huntsman, Stroud, Hankston. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Which one would you like to see trams on first? It adds. To, it does add to the challenge, 100%. After 7,850 hours you have played this game for. Damn. I don't even have a... I don't even have a, uh, I don't even have a button that I can make a sound effect for that, like, uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh, I don't even, Good evening. I'm your host, Ham. Today, well over 50, 
tells us that he plays Transport Fever 2 for 7,850 hours. Back to you on the live screen, Ham. Fuck. <laughs> okay, that's unreal. That is unreal. You must be the guru of Transport Fever 2. You're on 876, Wes. Wes, considering... Wow. Tools, how much are you on? Because Tools, you only did... You... It was like end of last year, you picked the game up, didn't you, Tools? And you just went... You just went full four straight into Transport Fever 2. <laughs> You're right, mate. I try... I... I'm a little bit slow today because I'm not feeling well, so I, I didn't really do that as best as I probably could, so sorry. Hey, we got the Klondike. Right, um, I want to get... So, uh, so, what we need to do... Uh, so, Stroud. Uh, Wes says Stroud for the uh, trams. Stroud would be a brilliant one because look at these lovely little hills and stuff we've got, and bridges that we can put trams over. I'm quite inclined to do that because Stroud is growing exponentially. Dave's got 500 or so. I consider I consider any game that you play for over 100 hours a lot, okay? Because if you put 100 hours into a game, you pretty much know how that game works pretty damn well by then. Uh, all right, yeah, we'll do we'll do trams down here. I think, yeah, trams. Okay, done. Uh, which is good because we need to do a bit of an upgrade. Uh, okay. Although we did just upgrade the vehicles down here. One thing. Uh, oh, hang on. Let me just fix this down at Rift first because I've got, I've got. Um, we're not putting ships here yet for the moment. For passengers. Although, it might increase the amount of passengers we get to the train service. Or. Yeah. Okay. Manage the line. Get rid of Rift South. Okay. Done. Right. Uh, and fix those vehicles up. Manage the vehicles. I want to get more people lifted and shifted. How many have we got around town? We've got 40 waiting there that could be on the trains themselves. So manage the vehicles. Switch them out for passenger. We do have these lovely Landors here. And um, give me two more of those. Right. Next thing we have to do is we have to... We, we really need to work out this fuel system. Let's get some trams in, eh? Oh, actually... The people we got sitting around town and fossils vehicles could get an upgrade too down to the trans train station. Yeah, yeah, okay. Also, horrible little. Let's get these. Let's fix up this area down here now that we have fourteen bajillion dollars. Right. First thing we're gonna do is is I'm gonna actually get this and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a bit of flattening down here. And I'm actually going to take out this road. The AI wants to build out here, which is totally fine. I'm totally down with that. But we're actually going to fix fix how this all works down here. We're going to fix it all. Because it's a bit of a horrendous horror head situation. I'm going to take that out. Uh, but we are going to just smooth it down a little bit. Look at me spending all of the money. That rinsed our budget. Look at that. All right. Anyway, it is smooth that just for me. Okay, get our road back in. Let's hit play. Ah, uh, let's not hit it again. Let's get our road now. Uh, first things first. Let's get a bit of a layout in here. I want to have a nice turnaround. All right. I'm gonna send you. Yeah, like Ooh, that's quite elegant. I like that. And then you're also going to switch just like that. Much happier about that. Next thing we're going to do is get... Um, the AI might sort out what it's going to do. The good thing is we can get some roads over the top of that too and up here. So we could probably encourage the AI to build like up around here, right? And we can have roads go over and uh, yeah, they can do all that sort of stuff there too. Right, the vehicles themselves. 
need to get a switch out because they've been struggling for a, an age and a day. All right, so they can go. But all the people are like, oh, thank gosh we're not stranded here. All of a sudden we have that. But what we're going to have to do, <laughs> look, look how much I rinsed the budget. That should turn around pretty quick for us. Uh, the thing that's slowing us down is all the horses and carriages in here. Look at that, 40. Let's uh, manage the vehicles. We've got six on it. Let's get them two more. Three more? No, two more. Right. That should do that quite nicely. Just to get people lifted and shifted a little bit more. And they take a capacity of six, right? Okay, that's going to help that. Right. Uh, down here, we'll do the same. We'll get these guys a little bit more... Um, I like the horse and carriages. I actually really like the horse and carriages, but we've got to get people moved about town. All right, so that's done. Now, passenger-wise, we've got these guys still coming down here for no reason as well, but we're going to switch that up shortly. We are going to get some passengers sent across the water again. Uh, Dave, you're off, friendo. Good night, friendo. There will be another episode of um, AO Tennis 2 coming out this evening, my time. Uh, put it this way. In the next, in the next match, in the next, in the next video, there's two matches. One of the, one of the matches, we play someone in the top fifteen. Top fifteen player we play against in the world. So wait for that. That's gonna be a doozy. Absolute doozy. Wait till you see that match. Good night though. Thanks for coming to say hi, Dave. And uh, good to see you, friendo. I'm not really looking at you, but good to see you in chat. <laughs> okay, let's figure this out. We're going to have to... What I'm going to do, we've got a passenger service down there. I'm actually going to do away with this whole passenger service. I'm going to just manage the vehicles, sell them. I'm going to delete the bus stops, manage the line, get rid of the... Uh, actually, you know what? We're going we're gonna to not get rid of the line. We're going to actually call it... Um, Stroud tram service. Okay. Uh, we're going to do some upgrades on the roads now. So, uh, the bus stop here. I'm just going to do away with the bus stops because we're going to redo everything in Stroud for the bus stops. That should be a two truck stops and one bus stop just there that we're keeping for the train station. Okay, perfect. Right. The original plan I had for Stroud uh, back episodes and episodes ago, the original plan was to actually put a passenger port just here and send people over to um, the other mainland um, from here. However, we did put this one in, which is actually a little bit too far away, I feel. So I might still do away with that. We might still put a passenger port in here because it's far enough, but it's just close enough that we can get a good uh, a good chunk of people crossing the uh, waterways, which I think now that we have the Klondikes might actually be pretty good. You watching the video right now? No, no, Fury. That's that's the last one. The, the next one's coming out uh, this evening, my time. We were, we're facing a top 15 in that one, in the next one. It's, uh, it's a heck of a match, put it that way. <laughs> Okay, um, bus stops. And then we can put the, the tram in. Right, so we're going to come out of here, as always. We're actually going to go first stop on the hill, are we? Yeah, first stop, uh, I'd love, uh, see, I would love to come down this hill with the trams. I really would. I'm just wondering if we should go this way. So then I can come up, down, and around. Yeah, okay. We're gonna go. We're gonna go something a little bit different here today. We're gonna go this way, uh, downtown. I'm not gonna put a stop there. Actually, thank you. Um, right. So first stop will actually be here. I see the AI is starting to put some stuff in down here. I I think I want to future proof it. So we're gonna come up to here. Then we're going to go up this street. Over the top, back here. 
We are going to come to the top of the hill here. And we're going to put a lovely stop just here. Are we? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you come down here. We've got a lovely big road here. Yeah, let's go on this one then. So we'll put a stop just here. You come down and you're going to have a stop here. Then you're going to go back up the hill. Brilliant. Back up the hill. Brilliant idea. Thank you. This is where I talk to myself a lot. And then you're going to come up this way, stop there, and go home. Right, brilliant. That's our, that's our, that's our line. So now we have to get the streets. We have to go electric. And we have to go upgrade. Okay. We're going to follow that path. Around. Our first... Our first trams. How cute. I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna send you yeah, I'll send you here. And up the hill. We utilize I re, the the key is I really wanted to utilize these San Francisco style hills that we've got going on for the trams. Like that, back there, back there, and um, that's it. That's your lot. That's our tra that's our tram racing track we've got going around town. Something in here might be all right. Maybe we should come down a little bit further. Maybe, yeah, maybe we should come down to here and add another stop in. Down here. So go back to no. I'm down here and add another stop. Um, yeah, you've got that stop just there. You've got no stop there. Maybe add a stop very close. And that one's there. We've got enough coverage. That'll be fine. But at least the trams come around that way. So in future times, we can do some upgrades. If anything, you probably needed to come. Oh, okay. Hang on. I've got it. Well, you've got that coverage there. No, 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 we're fine. People can walk. I have two extra tram, sta tram stations. Uh, where's my two extra ones? These are truck stops. This, that's a truck stop. Centaur. These are for trucks. That's what you mean. These are the tram ones. These are the truck ones. Right, so check up. Uh, where have I got my two extra tram bus stations? Come out of here, stop there, stop there, stop there, stop there. Stop there. Stop there. Stop there. Stop there. Okay. These ones are very close. I could probably move this one back a little bit. Hey, MGL, how are you, friendo? Yeah, I could probably move that one back a little bit. Too. Maybe. Yeah, we'll move that one to there. Now, our lines, starting here, go there. Uh, then you're coming, hang on a minute, up. Then we're coming, oh, are you talking about this one? Uh, are you talking about that one? Yeah, okay. Is that the one you're talking about? That just, that did just confuse me then. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, right. And then, uh, after Queens Road. Stop there. And that's it. That's our circuit. 
Yeah, okay, thanks, Intel. I got, uh, it's, uh, there's a lot of, lot of icons going on. Right, so that's that. Now let's get a tram station. We're going to set the tram station, what, down here. Yes, I want the tram station to be involved down here. So we're going to need some more uh, tram tracks. Might be a cool idea to put the tram tram station down here. So the tram depot. Maybe in here is not a bad spot. This seems like a good little spot just in here for tram depot. So, uh, which means we'll have to put in some more tram track, which is totally fine. But we can make this a bit of an ordeal here. We can make this look like... Um, like a yard. Right, so I can probably get some nice upgrades and stuff too. So streets wise, uh, give me the country road. But give me electric. Now we're going to do something cool. Get a nice sort of bend on that. Keep you flat, please. This is probably a good excuse to start um, start doing some cool like um, straighters. The whole building is a bit crooked. No, well it's it's okay, it's fine. Hey, I want to kind. What I'll do is in here I'm going to build. I don't know if you remember the Billy's Bluff uh, season two playthrough we did on Billy's Bluff, but on Billy's Bluff season two, I built a really cool uh, tram depot or tram yard that I was really happy with. So I might utilize this section in here for doing something similar, where we can have some turnabouts, we can have some tram workstations where, you know, we've got trams sort of over a hole and they can sort of do some cool stuff. We might do some cool stuff in here with some buildings and trams sat on stuff and, and so on. Right, we are also going to upgrade that road. We're gonna have the trams go up there straight into that. Done. That's that, right? Lovely. Um, and then that goes into dirt road just here. Do you want to make that? No, I don't. I want to leave it now. I just want to leave. It. Okay, so let's buy some trams. Hey, hey, hey! Right, what do we got? What do we want? We've got that's a cargo. I want passengers? Thanks. Right. We've got the San Diego electric trolley, which takes seven. We've got the Stradivarius. Which has a capacity of 11, actually, which is actually... Uh, I think we'll go with this one. What do you think? By the dam? Oh, yeah, yeah, the one by the dam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how good was... I love that. That actually came up really good, that build. I was really chuffed with that. Uh, on this, we're going to go six to start with. Right, set them on that. Let's have a let's let's have a ride on them, shall we? Yes, here we go. Let's have a ride on these. We don't need to go that fast, huh? Yes. Let me just take my screen away for a sec, shall I? Otherwise, I'm floating. And you don't have to look at my ugly mug. Now I can pick my nose. <laughs> I'm joking. But I'll have I'll have some water. I love Billy. Billy's Bluff was brilliant. What a thing. I hate how good was um, Cape Hank. I loved, and thanks to Stephen Spry, actually, uh, 50 if you're still here. Uh, Stephen Spry actually came into the chat. He binged the second take. And uh, yeah, it hooked you, did it? Yeah, nice. Oh, I'm glad. Um, Stephen actually came into the chat uh, when I was building the freight yard and the depot yard at, at Hank, Cape Hank. And it just came out really good. And he had, it was some good suggestions from Stephen in that. Um, and then the actual build that I loved the most on Billy's Bluff was the Yak Head Freight Yard. I absolutely loved the Yak Head Freight Yard. It was probably my favorite. A lot of really good builds in that game. Really enjoyed that. Look at this. Now that's a picture. Let me just get my head out of the way and take a screenshot of that. Yes, that's a great picture. Nothing beats the hidden... 
Oh, uh, you'll never... Ah, you'll never let me live that down, Johnny. Do you know what map I actually really did like? I really loved the Lonely Pines map. Lonely Pines was a really good map. Ban him, Frisco. <laughs> Oh, I really want to. I really want to change the name of this place to Van Am Frisco now. <laughs> Amy, you think there was too much prison fencing going on in the map? <laughs> I remember you saying that before. That was hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. And now we're going through the industrial area of town. Oh, the trams have to actually get get around town first. You're heading the wrong way, mate. Have we got any trams going the right way? It looks like they get... Oh, here we, here we go. That one? Yeah, that one. Let's go this one, because it's running the right way. Yeah, it was good. I really enjoyed it. Thanks, 50. That was... That's nice of you. Bad fencing flashbacks, Amy. <laughs> uh, I always called it, every time I built them again, I always called it, and you might have missed it, but I would always say, Amy, Amy's prison fencing is going in around here. <laughs> okay, so we've progressed really well today. We've now got this map flowing in a really positive money way. I'm booked in to see the doctor on Tuesday, so I can get. I, I've got to. I've got to get all this testing done again now. Oh, um, but Tuesday is when I'm going to be doing it, but it's all good. We'll we'll, we'll be streaming on Tuesday, gang, because um, my appointment's not till late afternoon. Is there a save game on Steam for the Billy's Bluff? I can put it up for you, hundred percent. I can put the save game up if you'd like. We can go and have a look at it now if you want. We can we can jump we can jump into Billy's Bluff and have a look now if you guys want. We can go for a ride in there. Oh, this is brilliant. Look at that view as well. I'll give Transport Fever 2 one thing. It's it's um it's a pretty game. It is a pretty game. You should want to do a highlight, uh, a one-year highlight video. Come on, let's go at two times speed. It's a bit slow. Missing this time in game. Yeah, it's got good replayability. Yeah, I missed Lonely Pines. Do you know what I do? You know when I first remember Johnny, you commenting a lot on my videos was the um, the spring. I think you sort of came into the channel around the spring uh, the spring update series, didn't you, Johnny? And you were getting involved with that a lot. That was a good, that was a good little series as well when they did the spring update last. Was it last year or the year before? I forget now. Last year's spring update, I think, or the year before. I think it was 22, wasn't it? 2022, I think. And we did the Spring Update series. It's some fun little builds in that too. That was a vanilla playthrough, that one. <laughs> Johnny. Wow. Oh, this is sort of the dull bit. That's the, we're heading down to the dull bit of town. I just wanted to ride the mountains. Okay, good. We've got some trams in there. How are our trains doing here, actually? I do, I do want to check this. Now, that's what I like to see. What I like about you. You hold me tight. Yeah. Oh, look at this old chugger. Okay, you need an update. You make all right money. How much have you got sitting on the deck here? 
not a massive amount, but we can still give you an upgrade, I think. And just the vehicles. Let's um let's chug you out, give you a Hmm. I may oh ah maybe I'll go because I like the O six O's. I like the saddle tanks, so we might go with the saddle tank for this one. Uh, and we you know what we'll play it off with. So we had we had the O six O saddle tank on this one. Let's let's for let's for instance sake say that the upgrade that happened to this train. The 060 saddle tank that used to do uh, saddle tank that used to run there, you know, we'll say that it's now on this line. So it's been it's now been pushed onto this line, which is actually a better thing to do, I think. So that's what we'll say happened to this train, and then we just retired uh, this class B, and we'll put the 060 on that one. Uh, we will run this one, and we will. It was red, so we'll go back and and color it red. However, we'll make it a, we'll, we'll say it got a little bit of a paint overhaul. We'll make it a little bit darker. Uh, okay, so we're going to add you. Right, modify for 681. Uh, and then we might actually just give you a, yeah, that looks really good with the dark red. So we'll just say it got a bit of an overhaul and it got switched to the new branch. Uh, and we'll say, what are you, a capacity of 152. Let's give you some new wagons. Uh, we were running the British cattle wagons. Which they're a capacity of eight. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I'll just leave them. I'll leave them. I think that's going to be a lot better for that. Yeah, that's nice. We've paid off all our debt, haven't we? We have now. We now owe no more money to the bank. Okay. Ooh, ow. Uh, right. Paint should reset aging. It should, shouldn't it? Well, just a bit of a... Yeah, you should be able to pay to paint the vehicles. Oh, okay. But you do pay for maintenance, so you know that, Tools. You know that. I mean, you, you up, increase the maintenance on a vehicle and it actually fixes the paint on it. Right, um, now that that's sorted, I kind of, I'm in two minds, right? I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about our passenger service across the water. New red paint. New red paint, a darker red paint, a faster Ferrari red paint on our trains. I really would like, what's, uh, what's with the logs up here? What's going on with that? Uh, okay. What? Where are we sending? Are we sending logs via water? Where are you actually sending those? The only thing I can think is we're sending logs back across the water. Uh, maybe. I'm not really bothered. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I just let the game do what they do. It's like, it's like, it's like I'm the big boss, but at the end of the day, I employ managers in each town. And if the manager decides it wants to put some logs there, okay, game, you have your logs there. Right. The thing that's been killing me the whole time is the fuel. Option one. We've got, we've literally got this. Have we increased, do we fix those? No, fix those vehicles now. Option one. Is uh, manage the vehicles. 52 vehicles on there? Holy snap and duck fish. Option one, right? That was a big expense. Um, we send this straight over to there. Bang, we start making fuel. How are we going to get the fuel out? We can send the fuel down to here, but that's going to sort of suck. Also, I can't quite afford to fix this ravine yet. But I can probably do a little bit of um, just slight, slight smoothing just to make it look less aggressive, right? 
probably not a bad idea. That's uh, that's kind of that's kind of better already, just with the less aggressive angles on the uh, wall. Burger Hill. We need to get some passengers. See, where, why can't we get one of those gas stations appear down here? I'm kind. I'm kind of holding out for the day that we do. Or Hillcrest hasn't had anything sent to it. Hillcrest is not an option at the moment. Uh, any fuel down here popped up yet? No, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. It's just we're really going. I think what I want to do is utilize this one, and I want to send. I want to send the refine oil from here over to here. And send it back across. That's all I can think of at the moment. But I'm kind of holding out until we get going on. Whole mine's going. All of a sudden, up here is just drying up a little. I think we'd be silly not to use this and and export it somehow. Shaftesbury needs it. Shaftesbury is quite a way away. Fossil needs it. We can get stuff from here, and we could probably send it down around a fossil. Talking of sending logs by water, bio break. Oh, Dan, riding the porcelain bus, are you, friendo? Riding the porcelain bus. Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck. I Here's what I'm doing. I'm actually holding out until a magical fuel refinery appears <laughs> over here. I, I doubt it's going to, but that's what I'm kind of hanging out for. I'll tell you what we can do. I really so in the in the interim, let's get this passenger board in. Because we can send some ships under that train. Okay. It's gonna be brilliant. Right, uh ships. We're just gonna go with regular passenger uh, port down here, by the way. Um We've got this one here. This is this is kinda cool, this thing, but we are gonna go with regular. Now I'm gonna need now we're gonna have you connected to that. I do have the ability. Now, I can kind of... I don't need that to do that. I have the ability. I just want to check something here. Because I think I can do something like this, right? Where did I see it? Maybe it's in. Maybe it's under here. I can do it. I tell you what would work is um I know what to do. I know what to do. Or do I? No, I don't. I'm kind of... Uh, I'm in two minds here. I've got I've got an idea of what I want to do here. Where did that go? It was definitely an overpass constructor, but I can't actually see it anymore. There's a pedestrian crossing. Here we go. Here it is, I think. Is this the one I want? That's not the one I want. No, there, I've got an overpass here that I can actually... I can draw the overpass over. I don't actually know where it's gone. It's It was in here, I thought. Um, okay, option two. Option two, we put the subway through it. How cool is that? Just a big freight train rattling through. So option two is we do this. Platforms. Oh, that's not actual. Okay. No big deal. 
Uh, I don't need. I only need it to be a small section. What is that about? Leading just tiny bits like that. What's going on there? Bit odd. Okay, give me the tracks. Give me the Portuguese. I I, I literally only need that much. Cool. Um, now, give me the platforms. Oh yeah, this is brilliant. Then we can get a subway that's going to connect underneath. Um, miscellaneous, which would be... Or we could put our overpass in now. But that changes the style of it there, so I don't really want to do that. That's quite nice, isn't it? Like that. Now that's going to denote the fact that we've got, um, that this is going to be the ship passenger. You know what? Put them all the way along, except don't put them all the way along. Take a bit of a feature out of this. Let's go with, um, keep them there like that. Then let's put them on this end as well. All right. Yeah, that's good. And then in the middle, in the middle of the... Nah. I go walking in. Assets? Yeah, probably. I think it must be under assets, is it? Now I've committed to this, though. But you're probably right. It's probably under the assets. I mean, you've only got... Well, what would you know? You've only got 7,850 hours. Yeah, here it is here. This is the exact one I was thinking of. Exactly, exactly what I was thinking of. Thank you. That's exactly what I was thinking of. If you go like that for me. Yeah, I can give the people options then. I can have them come over this way. Uh, yeah, and then it's connected to the road like that. Exactly like that. So people have got the option to walk over here if they want. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll put an actual road down there as well. So. No, we don't need to put a road down there. We just literally need to put maybe a bit of road down here. I might have to fluff out just the water's edge here a little bit. Fluff it out a little bit. Probably a little bit too much. Need that much. Because uh, what we will do, we might... Uh, do we need a road down there? Yes. If people want to walk over that way, they do. You also need a building on there if you're going to do that. Hmm. So, passenger buildings. We've got some nice buildings in here, by the way. We've got those ones, but I like these ones. These ones are very stylish for it. Can I get it? That would be better. One at each end. One in the middle. And then a toilet... Uh, no, the toilet blocks, thanks. Like that. Brilliant. Delay tracks next to the station. Oh, right. Yeah, I don't... Oh, hang on. That's stuffed that up. Okay. Right. I don't I don't often build tracks right next to the station. That that sucks. That didn't work just then. 
Uh, maybe we can use the these ones. They don't work. Why? 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 Delilah, do you do that? That's a mistake. That's better. That one works. The pink ones work. That means we should go with that pink building in there. Yeah, that works better. Okay, they work a treat. Hey, what a great asset, by the way. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, then we get a little road in. We're actually going to, um, there's some of these trees out. I can see what I'm doing here a little bit. I will actually have a connection that comes down here, I think. We're going to cross the track just here. Like that. So we're going to make you skinny road. And you're going to just come straight up here. there where you connect to that bridge actually because you can actually get it on the footpath which is brilliant because you can actually have yeah so you can actually have that uh, thing right on the footpath so we'll do that uh, and I will uh, right next to the rail really sure go out a little further what we will do then is we'll curve you up like that I'm going to leave that little dead in there. Moment. And then we'll get a nice little curve in here like that. That'll be brilliant. And who knows, maybe we'll get some people build down in there. Uh, and we can probably send this road off somewhere and do something. Maybe we could put, maybe we could put another crossing in down here. Who knows? Or maybe it's just a dead end into here. It's realistically. I don't... I don't think we would get um, a sort of turnaround point in here. Too tight. Oh, maybe it's not. Roundabout. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I'll I'll stick with that. We're not sending vehicles down here, purely just for show. Uh, then we get this. And it'll get there. Right, so now they, people can either, so people can walk, the whole point was so people can walk into the station and you haven't put the subways in, my bad. Yeah, that's my bad. Right, people can actually now cross over and get out where they need to get out so they can go and um catch the tram and get around town or they can go for a lovely coastal stroll down here walk over the bridge and get to downtown um great area by themselves i think that looks quite good that'll come up quite nice we can do some decorative stuff down there as well now the brilliant thing is i can tell this thing to i'll leave it there i'm going to leave that there but the actual line itself and just the line Get rid of rift port for the moment uh, and add. Come on, right? Brilliant. We're going to call this Stroud. Oh, I'm starting to feel. Starting to. I'm starting to drop. I'm starting to dip, gang. Okay. Buy a couple of. Uh, yeah, let's buy a couple of shit. I'm going to put, um... I'm going to put a lighthouse out here. Let's go with, uh... 
Do we want a red one? Brick. Stone, I think. No, the, the red and white's quite traditional and nice. I like it. Uh, era. A, yes, with the house. The ring. Yep. Uh, white beam. Look at that. Hey. Gorgeous. I don't think we should, uh, Okay, we'll just leave it like that. Turning, but you can't see the beams. All right, we can get a little road out there. Maybe that's the reason why there's a little road out here. Might help, but uh, yeah. What are we doing? Find some ships. Oh, yeah. we just buy one ship. Oh, I was going to put it down here, actually. Because we are going to be building a port in here. So I will actually put a uh, thingy. Uh, we'll put this on this side of the river, will we? The port is going to be here. Put it next to the rail. And then I can make a feature out of it, yeah? Yeah, I can I can make a feature out of that then. Maybe I maybe it'll give rhyme and reason as to why we have a road come down this way. And it's gaming corner. Hello, friendo, how are you? I actually didn't. I love all my SimCity games. I I actually did enjoy kind of playing SimCity Four. It's been a long time though, uh, but I did enjoy that. The DS Morgan. Now these look like fun little ships. To be in. Uh, Morgarton, mind you. Now this takes everything. We don't need to take everything. We just want some pus and draws. Uh, the Frontenac. We just need something. You know, I'm quite more... I might put these little more gardens in here, but we might go like four of them. All right. Uh, and set them online. Actually... Right, so yeah, I think these will be good to start off with. We're going to... Whatever way they come out, I'm going to divide them so they... On that way. Then you, buddy. You don't follow suit. Yeah, you go that way. Then you. Go the other way. Then you. Go that way. Brilliant. Ah, oh, welcome. Hey, um, I always like to... If you have a channel, Anna, do you have a... Uh, do you have your own YouTube channel? You've been trying to learn modding for this game and it's hard. Made a few uh, cool new roads and other things. That's over my head, modding. I just use the mods. <laughs> but actually modding, that's... Uh, wow, good luck with that. I, I... Yeah, if you... Well. Is it your channel? All right, gang, you know what to do. Go over and... Uh, Go over and see Anna's channel. Do the thing. Go and support Anna. And uh, show a bit of love. Thank you for coming in to stop by and show a bit of love too, Anna. Ah, oh, good job, Dan. That's what I like to see. Show the love. Okay. Um, I think that's going to... That, we should get the people here. I just want to speed up things here for a second. Just to see if we start getting some people back and forth. Did I can't... I didn't cancel these passengers... The, pass, the bus out to here though, did I? No, I didn't. We we're still taking the bus there. Oh yeah, look at this now. 51 on board. Let's uh let's start manage the vehicle. We're running the old general on this thing. Right. 
let's uh upgrade this. You got a capacity of 28. How are we doing at this end? What do we got at this end waiting? 56. Brilliant. All right. So we can do an upgrade here with this train. Um. That. Uh, I'm just a pickle. Right. So we're going to get rid of the general. The general's nice and cheap, but it's not nice and quick. Yeah, I wish you could I wish you could say, hey, this this train is more for passengers. Fortunately we can't. So I rely on you guys to tell me what's more for passengers. Oh, I love this little thing. It's only twenty-five miles, sorry. Here we go. This suits us. Bang. We're gonna get rid of that. You do fifty. Uh, generic UK. Did I have these ones on here already? Surely I didn't. Right, that's it. We're going to do that one. We don't want to do too much upgrade for it. Because uh, we, do, well, if you, if you if you put in for fifty people, you're not always going to get fifty people on board, and you're going to run uh, less. Even though there's, it says there's, oh, there's eighty there actually. Okay, we'll leave it at that. All right, let's check the passenger service here now. All our passenger services started ramping up. So see the knock-on effect we've had today, when it's come to upgrading all our freight, upgrading the products, getting more products here, and getting more people lifted and shifted has meant that now our passenger services are starting to wind up and do pretty good. Uh, same down here. We've got seven there. That's that's that one. You the poor little um. Look, this is the legacy train that we're going to be keeping on this map. This is going to be our little legacy train. Ah, oh, and are you Canadian? Are you? Johnny will be your best friend. Also Canadian. Stevens. Right. <laughs> How are you, Steve? We've done some big upgrades today, friendo. I didn't know if I was going to be streaming today because I've been unwell, but uh, we're, we're okay. We're up and running. I'm having a good time. Steven, I'll send you... I, I meant to send you a message ages ago, but I've just been absolutely flat stick. Uh, pause. 114. I don't want to lose this train. Because this is going to be our legacy train on the map. Right? This little QR special. I love this train. Um, right? The QR A10 Nelson. Now, now if, you don't, if you haven't watched the episode where I put this train in, I gave an explanation about this train. This train is actually... Um, it can, it's actually was imported from Scotland here into Australia. Uh, and it's the, uh, it's now, it's been, uh, it's been sort of fixed up and uh, fitted out. Um, so it's still actually, it's still going in Australia uh, as a bit of a, uh, as a bit of a like nod to the past. So it's, um, it's kind of why I want to keep this on the map. It's a great mod. It's a beautiful little train. It's a bit slow. So what we might do is we'll keep it running, but we're going to have to put another train on this service because if there's 110 uh, people sitting there and we've got uh, 59 up this end after we just picked up, Rift, we will get Rift growing soon. The more people we can get to Rift, the better. We're going to have to put, maybe we just put, I don't want to put two Nelsons on it, but we might have to put another actual train on that service. That's going to be no good. Okay, so let's say... The Nelson does 25. It's not very quick, right? But we get a, we get a train that does. It's going to cannibalize the Nelson a little bit, but I think what we do with the Nelson is we take a wagon off it.
<laughs> Steve, Johnny. <laughs> Brilliant. I'll sub too. Uh, and you'll have to keep us up to date with how your modding's going, Anna. Right. Um, anyone got any thoughts? Because I don't want to lose the, the, the Nelson. I think what we'll do... is we'll get something... A little bit zippier. Uh, get something a little bit zippier, but not too much zippier. Like, I'm thinking about like this. And we don't have to put that many wagons on it. You only do 30s. No, what do you do? You do 37. Don't need something that does 37 and you take 11. I don't like those passenger wagons. I think they're a bit trashy. These look a little bit better. 33 cap. We'll go with that and that will slow you down a little bit. You're still good there. We'll go with this. Okay, buy that and set it on um, Rift Hank Pax line. No, yeah, Rift Hank Pax line. Okay, uh, which way are you going to come out first, please? Stephen, uh, I was just saying before how when we were doing Billy's Bluff, how brilliant it was when you, um, uh, when we put together the um, freight and depot yard at Cape Hank and how much of a big influence you were on that one. It was just, it was a really fun build, that one. This here. Paint. The train, please. I want you... I want you... I want you to pull in this way for first point. Oh, you're waiting for the little Nelson. Ah, uh, that's okay. You can wait for that. Oh, you can actually head out that way. Okay, it's a mix. It's a standoff. Right, you're waiting for that one. Uh, we've got a standoff here. Right. We're going to send you... I'm going to send you the only way you can go. One second. Off you go. Head down. Head. Go. And go. And I can't get you there, but I can probably do this. Now, this whole thing needs a rework. Right. And go. Good. That'll get that out of there, which means that can plug back in there. Okay. Brilliant. Okay, that's going to work. All right. This is, um, this is temporary, by the way. This thing here, temporary. We're going to be rebuilding all of that. Okay, that's going to work. That'll be good. Trees cause so much lag in the game. But they look good. I know, they do look good in this game, don't they? The trees. I'm really happy with the rework we did down here. Came up an absolute treat. Right. We, were, we did say before that we were going to go over to Billy's Bluff and have a look around at Billy's Bluff again because it's actually been a little bit since I've looked around at some of the builds so we'll go and do that i'm really happy look at look at our money is just ticking up beautifully today team so some really good upgrades really good um really good upgrades especially with the planks heading up this way now the fact that we've got machine parts working down here for stroud absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant we're waiting on hankston to get its next upgrade right so let's save uh 
<laughs> you gain more in 10 minutes than you do in five days. That's brilliant. That's what we're all about. Um, we're a friendly, fun, um, loving community here. And you've always got a, you've always got a home here if you want a place to hang out. And there's a Discord server as well. And uh, we, like to, we like to help each other grow. Um, Steven's a fantastic Transport Fever 2 content creator. If you haven't seen Steven before as well, you can go check his stuff out. Great community he's got going on over there as well. Wonder, yeah, we like to, uh, we're that, we like to just like to look out for everyone. Especially if you're, if you're kind enough to come here and say hi and have a chat. It's free to subscribe anyway, gang. It's free, isn't it? Right? Free. And you're helping, you're helping someone out who has a passion about something. Right. Let's go and check out, let's go and load Billy's Bluff because it's been a while. Boundless Bay. Boundless Bay was a, I forgot. I completely forgot about Boundless Play. Uh, Billy's Bluff YouTube playthrough. Now this is a big, busy map. All right, back in a sec. I'm just going to pat the dog. I'm going to go. I'm just taking take a quick bio break. One sec. everyone it's hanky coming to say hello hey hanky say hello to everyone bubba i could do it right now. hey yeah hmm. hello to everyone and he's off oh he's getting heavy Look how long it took to load this guy. Um, how long it took to load. Oh, we're in my favorite place. All right, this is going to take a little bit to load in. Let's just, let's let it load in. It's been a while. It's been a while. This is Yakhead. I love this. This is my favorite build of all. Absolutely love it. The train just went through, actually. Uh, so... Absolutely love this build. This is the um This is the build that Steven you helped me with a lot and I absolutely adore this. Uh Steven had a big big hand in helping design this out. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. I love Hank, Cape Hank. Cape Hank is named after this little dog here that's at my... I've got a dog mat at my feet again. Uh, yeah, this is Cape Hank. Let's turn this off for a sec so we can look around properly. Yeah. I Lo absolutely love Cape Hank. It's even got... Um, I even put like a little like... Um, you know, like park front down here so people can like jaunt around the place. <laughs> yeah, it's got a lot. This is our actual... Our headquarters is just here, downtown. Their actual headquarters just here. Outside this lovely little bus step on It's got a little car park section just in here outside for us. Yeah, absolutely love this build. This this whole um series. Absolutely loved it. Let's we can keep maybe some of that up. Let's just turn off some 
of. Ah, uh, we don't need that. We don't need the prices of things. We don't need signals. We don't need stops themselves. Those I don't mind being. That can turn up. Yeah, that's probably better. I suppose we don't need the vehicles on and stuff. Let's just leave it like that. Let's just turn everything off and then we can have a bit of a, a look around with the prices and stuff still up. Yeah, it's all, this one's a little bit more framey. Um, oh, actually, you know what I will? We'll keep my town name so you guys can see. All right, Mac Point, Mac Point and Port, uh, Port Flipper came out really well as, as well. You wish you could detail your pants at it? I don't think I'm a, I'm not a very good detailer. I just put stuff in that I like. I don't yeah, this I love this though. This came up really well for here. And then I've got the big like tall ship um museum thing going on down here. Then we've got the the tourist port section here. This came out really well. I was really happy with this. Got the cinemas down on the on the harbour as well, the restaurants and stuff. Actually Port Flipper came out really well. And then it's got a big sort of industrial section just here. And then the motorway that sort of... The motorway goes up here and up into um, Dewey Cove. Dewey Cove is another cool one. I really enjoyed this build. Probably my... It's been my... This was my favourite Transport Fever 2 series. Then we got the airport down here outside Tin Can. Wave view. Donny Doo. Look at old Donny Doo. That's where Dan was just before. He was in the Donny Doo. <laughs> yeah, this is old Donny Doo. Look how cool that came through. Donny Doo's little port down here came out really well as also. You know they've got their they've got their Commats factory, and I, I hooked up the Commats factory to make it look like it was all working down here properly. Yeah, I was, I was quite happy with this uh, this build. This was sort of well. We'll head over and, in season two. We went over and we put the big um. Thing, um, what was it? The big um, the dam wall in and stuff. We'll go over and look at that in a sec. Down here, there's another like cargo port. We've got helicopters. The helicopters do a lift and shift over here to Cape Hank, actually. They do a delivery just over here. Uh, I missed this playthrough. Big cargo plane coming in. The trains rattle down in through here. The passenger trains. There's still a little train right along. Where are you, trains? Holy people, Batman. Oh, this was another nice build, actually. This little station came up an absolute treat. I absolutely loved X-Head's train station. Absolutely, really, really enjoyed putting that together. Control tower way too big for single runway. <laughs> no, it was, it was, it was there for expansion. <laughs> I tell you what will help the frames on this map. Oh, I didn't know there was a building that had built through it. What's this about? Uh, what will help this map is if we go to settings, go to graphics, you just take the geometry to medium. That will help our um, that will help our frames a little bit. Gym. This is major town to ground control. Hmm. Just speed up because I want to get into actual K paint mostly, not this section. Come on, let's get there. And then we'll go over and check the dam out. Oh, wait, we've got other things to look at too. Oh, that control tower is way too big, isn't it? Look at the size of that thing. I love this though, because the planes actually come in over your head. Look at this. This is all starting to build up nicely down here. Oh, I did a lot of work at this train station too in the end. 
you just realized now you have four Canadians in this happy gang. Well, there's also Uncle T too, remember? But we haven't seen Uncle T for a while. It's just uh, while this pulls in, we did a lot of work down here as well. I put a lot of like apartment buildings underneath the rail station to make it look like it was kind of like, yeah, little car parks down this side, make it look like it had shops and apartment buildings and all that sort of stuff. I really enjoyed that. That, that came out pretty well, actually. Came out pretty cool. Yeah, we'll ride that train. Come on. Go. Get the people. This <laughs> this spinning wrong. I know the snowy. You know, with that mod, talking about modding, Anna. With that mod, there's an actual an issue with that mod. Putting the snow trees in. I'll take you up to the snowy area shortly. When you put the snowy trees in your map. They actually have a tendency to spawn up and pop up in other areas of the map itself. Um, which you just can't help. It's just the way the mod's written. And it just, they, it was, it never got upgraded. And the mod, uh, the mod author, I think he just said, it's just it's what it is. So I just went around and I just sort of periodically just sort of delete them out when I needed to. This is it coming through Cape Hank now. Through the bustling town. That's the big cargo port there, just on the right. We're going a little bit quick. Oh, stop there, truck. Ah, oh, this is cool through here. I love it. We're running four Canucks. Quad Canucks. As long as they're not flames, Calgary flames. <laughs> isn't that right, Johnny? We don't like flames, isn't that right? And pulling into Cape Hank Station now. I love this. Look at all the people here. Love the fencing. There was a lot of fencing that went into this game. A lot of detailing when it came to signage as well. Alright, so that's that one. Yeah, that's looking that's uh, that's looking over the top of Cape Hank's train station there. And then in here we've just got little trains doing shunting work. Like this thing here, it's not actually doing anything. It's just losing money, but it's 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 just a little train. We've just got plenty of trains just shunting around the yards. This one here is another little shunter. Another shunter here. Yeah, I loved it. Oh, I did a bit of work down here in the end, didn't I? I forgot about this all down here. The freight station down here. Yeah, this came up nice. Oh, down here I've got my little... I put a little picture up on Steam not long ago of this little, this little crew here lifting this tanker into the back of this trailer. Dangerous, mind you. Right, um... Let's head down... Let's head down this way. I didn't really... I never really got back to up to Dusty Heights and uh, Pin Pin. I never really got back up here to do a lot. But they did. we did actually end up putting a bridge over to here for them. Where we got into Lofty's Gap. Lofty's Gap used to have the Hilo port, but it's now over here, I think. Uh, they've got the airport, which delivers uh, grain and stuff out of here. And then they've got their little Hilo, Hilo thing here, which actually delivers down to Boonhead. And Boonhead's got their little, like, Hilo freight yard down in here. Yeah, they came out pretty well, too. And then, obviously, we, we put a train service in from Boonhead, did we? Train service comes down into here. Oh, yeah, here it is. Here's the train station at Boonhead here. It goes out. Down into Ship Cove. Which we, this was sort of towards the end when I never, I never actually finished off a lot of this stuff. We got around to the top here and down into Perry Bar. Perry Bar's got a big oil sort of thing going on down here. We've got, this is where we sort of get into a lot. These were cool builds down here. 
Billy's Bluff. This is actual Billy's Bluff, which is the, ma the map is named after. Billy's Bluff was brilliant. I loved this map. I mean, this 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 city. Just for the, for the pure fact that the train line, if I can get a good shot of it, train line runs into the station, down around the outside, and around the bottom here. It keeps snaking around there until it heads across the waters and down over the chalk hills and tango and stuff. Really love that. Look at the big look at the big building here. Holy moly. And this is the station down here at um Billy's Bluff as well. It came up a treat. And then this obviously heads that way. That actually heads down to Cape Hank. Yeah. Oh man, it's good being back here. I miss this I miss this map. And obviously the trains come around into the into the yard this way. Into the station here. Right. Through there and up into there. No, we don't need that. And then they head back that way. And they come from that way to come from this way. Come from that way to come to that way. And then out the back here, trains roll past the farms, which a lot of the towns started building down into the farmland, which I didn't really like. Because I like to keep the farms sort of separate. And then we sort of started putting in some freight stuff down here, outside of these towns, where it, where it rolled past. Um, and it went past uh, Dot. Dot was just a straight through train station that we never... I never really did a lot with Dot down here. They never really received a lot of attention. And then uh, down into Peel Point. Peel Point, this was... There were some nice builds down here, like with the train lines and everything, with the fences and stuff. Still some dirt roads around. Coming all the way up through here. Now we got the airport bit down here. Um, Sharkfin Bay Airport. Trains. Oh, that's right. Down here at Wave uh, Weaver's Watch was really cool. The hills remind you of the homes along LA. Uh, yeah, we came through. We came past Sharkfin Bay where there's a passenger service that comes down this way. And then the, tra the main line heads down this way. And we pull into the port down. A massive big port down here with a lot going on. With actual, these are actual functioning buildings. Like these all, these are all industrial buildings down here. And we just sort of decorated up a little bit of stuff down here as well. Yeah, Weaver's Watch is a big, big town. Then it was, it, who was it? Was it Wes? Wes, it was your idea to do this, wasn't it? We did the rock walls in through here, down at um, Coral Shores. Coral Shores is a beautiful little port. It's a port town. Not a big town. It's, it's a massive oil industry. Small little town. But um, the rock wall idea was just absolutely brilliant. We put this in, and it just came up in an absolute treat, I thought, on each side. Absolutely looks... It, I just... I absolutely thought that was a brilliant idea. We put that in. Yeah, absolutely love that. And then the little causeway that runs across here as well. For all the stuff to happen. Absolutely loved that. And then over to Chipper. Now we've got our sort of timber timber sort of section of the map. We've got Tipper, Crafty Cuts, Hammerhead Bay. Uh, and Hammerhead Bay was named Hammerhead Bay purely for the fact that it looks like a big like hammerhead there, I guess. Hammerhead Shark. Oh, that's right. We put the station in down here, didn't we? Oh, that looks really good. I forgot all this already. Wingless Viper. Oh, that was right. It was Wingless. Wingless Viper. That was your suggestion about the about the rock walls. Yes. They came up a treat, friendo. Thank you for that suggestion. All you guys have contributed so much to my playthroughs. It's been brilliant. And the best thing, like I said before, is we've still got the tall ships, I think. That, oh, I did have the tall ships that ran from down here where we started putting... Oh, yeah, I do. I still have a tall ship. Legacy tall ship. And then that all goes up that way. Yeah, we only make a little bit of money down here. And we put that train line in around. Uh, this is the big uh, this is the big mine up here that actually feeds this down here, which actually feeds Port Flipper. So these mines came up really good. Happy with a lot of the mines, actually. The other mine that was actually not bad was um, this one here. This is the big stone quarry. Yeah, this is the big stone quarry outside Cape Hank. But this was the other big, like, coal mine, I think it is. Down here. Yeah, anyway, so we get the train. 
up to Sandy Shores. Sandy Shores it comes around the back. Now there's a train that heads back up to um, Yakhead Bay, and then a train that heads around. Um, I wouldn't mind getting a train back that way. Let's get on a train and head back up to. Um, we'll head up to the Gap, and this is where we put the dam in and stuff, which I was really pleased with those builds. Uh, where's the nearest train to head back? See you there. Where's your counterparts? Oh, there's only one train, is there? Right. We'll sort of take this down here, and then we'll ride the train back. Hey, Wingless Viper. Also, friendo, good to see you. It was. This is a this is a um, this is a good walk down memory lane. Multiple vehicles. The condition of multiple vehicles is very, very bad. <laughs> right, here we go. We're heading back. We're heading back. Unless it's heading down. No, it is heading back. All right, we can go at two times speed though. I love this map. Yeah, so 50, I'll try and get, I, I can try and put the save file up on the Steam Workshop if you want. People can go in and have a look around and a play around on it. There's some cool farms up here that we go past. I just wanted to check. If only I had spare cash for vehicle maintenance. I know, Dan, right? I've only got three and a half billion worth of it. Can't af I can't afford vehicle maintenance. Oh, there's the other train that I was after, that one. Yeah, well, we'll ride this thing. No, oh no, that is the train. We want to get off there and we do want to get on that one. I didn't know it was a, an exchange service. I forgot that. All right, so we head around here. I didn't know that we were exchanging trains. I want to. I kind of want to just go like this. I get a good shot of this somehow. Duck, everyone, duck. If only I weeded those tracks. <laughs> Stephen hates weeds and tracks. I actually don't mind them here and there. Past the big grain silos for the big farm. Right, let's slow down here because we're... Yeah, I love this big farm section down here. Look at all the people on board. The country link. Take the track. I actually don't mind some weeds in tracks, but even though tracks typically, like, they typically don't have weeds in them, I know. Because they, they, they never have weeds in them. What's this big freight train coming down here? We're pulling in now. Neon, you're back. And you're back. Are you back from outer space? Literally, space engineers? I'm looking forward to our next Space Engineers playthrough, especially to see what you guys have done. Tools. I agree with tools, says tools. <laughs> with a BR horn? Yeah. I think this is, um... Oh, no, did you crash it? No, look. Oh, it's nice down here. I think we put the volleyball court in down here, didn't we? Yeah, we've got the uh, we've got another cargo port. 
And we've got a little passenger port here with um, lovely scenery and so forth. These are the actual, these are the Waratah trains, I think, from Sydney. From Sydney, Australia, mate. They use these war. Oh no, are they? Are they the? Are they the? Are these the Waratah trains or are these the vanilla trains? These might be the blue ones, are they? Did I put the Waratah ones in? Oh no, it's the 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 bell level. Ah, uh, the bell, the bi level car. No, no, no. Um, the bi level. There's a train in Sydney which is like that, the Waratah. Is that the one? I can't forget. It's been a long time. No, that's the RE. There, I didn't put the I didn't I didn't put the Waratah in this. Issues. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And then we head over to um, Landers and Harnhope. The snowy areas up here, this is the big snowy area up in the back corner. Lake Bluff and and uh Peaky Run. They've got some cool we got a little we got a little ski village up here. Little snow snowmobiles and yeah, this is our little ski village here. And there's a little train the train line passes just out the back here. So don't don't be skiing down the mountain and hit the uh and hit the <laughs> actual train line out of Peaky Run over here. Uh this is called uh Gordo Flats. Yeah, not a lot going on down here. They've got they've got a little bit going on. Not heaps though. They've got a big dam up here. Yeah, it's not bad. Like Bluff. It's pretty peaceful and quiet up here. It was meant to be kept kind of quietish. It does hook up down here to Yakhead. Yakhead, when we first started the map, Yakhead was a tiny little town just here. Just FYI. Really tiny little town. How do you make dams? There's a mod. There's a dam wall mod. Um, and then we put the dam, we put the dams over here. And I just like to put the dams on the edge of the map because it kind of just stops the, the map just falling off then. Um, now, if, if you guys are still here from when I was talking about the tram depot yard earlier that we want to build in, um, in the in-between series, this is the, this is the tram yard here I put in, right? So we've got like service bays and stuff going on with trams. Uh, we've got the trams out the back. Yeah, this is our tram. It's not it's not brilliant, it's not big. It just looks like a gritty a gritty old tram yard, basically, where they can do some servicing. Yeah, that was the tram yard, that was it. The trams head over over to there. Uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed how this was coming along. I was gonna put a big football stadium in here or some sort of sporting stadium and let the town grow out, but we kind of just never got back to the playthrough. Uh, and then there's like lots of stuff. It was all designed ready to go in for the town to grow out. And they probably will because these two towns were actually kind of small and they've only just started joining in the middle. The dam is in backwards. The dam is not in backwards if you look at it that way. Because if you think about it, the water... Think about the water being on the high side here and being let into here. That's what I thought of sort of th that's how I sort of thought about it. And the reason and that's the reason why we've got sort of shallower beaches sort of things there, right? That's how I was thinking about it, because the mountain anyway, you get what I mean. So is the dam in backwards? Or is it just backwards to you? <laughs> that's how i was just thinking about it when i put it in everyone's different though i'm well aware of that anyway anyway this is billy's this is uh billy's bluff really enjoyed this playthrough probably some of my favorite places were this wingless vipers um suggestion here really enjoyed that that build really enjoyed putting together weaver's watch down here this was a nightmare trying to get all this turnaround stuff in absolute nightmarish but um this was, a, and then we look. We have a lot of farming land in here, which I just wanted to leave. I didn't want it um, taken up, but really enjoyed this build down in here. This was a massive, massive big build down in here, and enjoy how the trains sort of roll past each town through the mountains around the edge. I like how it's got a, a separated station down here as well. Yeah, 
That's it. That's your lot. Um. Here we go. We can we can fly a plane. Let's go fly a kite. Go it. Two times, thanks. Oh yeah, the, I, I think I have the extra. I think I think I think I have the water texture on this map. I just it's just something that just never bothered me. It was just yeah. We'll we'll take a little flight, shall we? Let's have a little flight. Come on. A lot of people waiting for a plane. Maybe we needed to put we needed to put more planes on. Good old Billy's Bluff. No, there's the thing with this construction site, and I've had other people ask me about this. You it's actually I can't actually find the mob on the uh, the mod on the Steam Workshop anymore. It's actually um, this one here. Little beans. One here. It's this one here. Robal. Yeah. Anyway, you got it. I don't typically. Uh, say that but yeah it's this one here i haven't been able to find them again it's got scaffolding right you can put scaffolding up around the edges stuff like that it, it, yeah and it was brilliant and i haven't been able to i haven't been able to get it again even though i've got i've still got it here obviously it's still in my files i would need to find it and um try and get it into my other playthroughs because it's a brilliant i i utilize this mod everywhere I utilized it in Lonely Pines. I think where else did I put the mod? Have I used it anywhere else? Oh, a little Hidden Valley. I forgot about Hidden Valley. I forget where else I used the construction site. Down here. Yeah, it's a good, it's a great mod. I wish, I wish it was there. I can't find it again though on the Steam Workshop. Uh, but yeah, wonderful mod. You get all the steel stuff, shacks. Oh, I think I put it down here at the airport. At uh, maybe airport where we were about to fly to this one, yeah, here down here, construction yard. It's Aussie, so it's on the wrong side. Is that it's just is that like all your toilet water goes the wrong way around the bowl? That confuses the heck out of me when I go over there. You put them in the toilet, your toilet water. Well, in the wrong way. You made a mod that allows you to draw curbs to make uh, center roads and medians and areas for grass and stuff. We'll just put. Is that like the one in? Um, is that like uh, how you can do it in um, City Skylines too? Because if it is, that's brilliant. I would like very much to see that. We'll go it two times. This is your Captain Captain Ham speaking. Please keep your arms, legs, and uh, all appendages inside the vehicle at all times. <laughs> if you need to use the uh, heads on the plane, uh, don't. Just hold it and uh, be busting for the whole flight. Uh, it's a sunny day in Shark Fin Bay. Enjoy your flight. And there will be no in-flight entertainment or meals, so suck it. Uh, imagine imagine if you heard the, the, the captain of the, the plane say that over the, uh, over the intercom. <laughs> yes, I do love a roundabout. Roundabouts are my favorite thing. Okay, so don't ever go at me. I love a roundabout. 
You get some, you get a good view of it doing this way though. You get a really good view. I've been known to build one or two, even one or t even the crank roundabouts, MGL. You know the two joined roundabouts. I'd be interested to count how many roundabouts are on the map. Actually, we're not going to do that today, but yeah, I missed this playthrough. It was it was fun. Oh, you made a dirt road mod, who? It is just the uh, tracks, like you often see. Now that's cool. Ladies and gentlemen, we're pulling into Shark Fin Bay. Please don't everyone use the toilets at once. As uh, three of them are broken and only one works. Thank you for flying ham airways. Have a lovely day. <laughs> All right, um, now, that being said, let's get on the big boy. Ooh, look at those. New, new we're already getting new stuff. Let's get on the, on the big boy. Here it is. Perfect timing. The big boy. And this is going to be our track ride along out for today. So, what I'm going to do, team... If you're learning how to do it, that's brilliant, Anna. I more kudos to you. It's way over my head the modding stuff. Put it that way. I, I can't wait to see some of the stuff you can. Are you, are you putting it on the Steam Workshop? Right. It well, that's the that's the main thing. We are gonna we're gonna do this track ride today. Is the track ride out? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the outro. All right, gang, thank you for coming along to today's episode um, or today's stream. Considering how bad I've been feeling after yesterday's episode that I had in hospital. So I appreciate you all coming to hang out for three and a half hours. I appreciate your time always coming to hang out. Please, if you haven't already, go and check out Anna's channel. Go and check out Steven's channel. And Fury dropped in here earlier. Fury is an amazing farming uh, farming sim stream um, content creator. It's the streamer. Oh, he does stream as well. So go and support Fury as well. Um, thank you very much for hanging out. We're going to be doing this track ride up here. We'll do this track ride out. I'll get rid of my camera. Uh, and uh, if you've got any more questions, I'll still be here to answer them. I'm just going to turn my camera off. And we're going to do this track ride out. And any more questions, happy to answer them. But uh, yeah, thank you for hanging out today, friendos. I love your guts and appreciate you all. Um... Being patient with me while all this medical stuff goes on. I really thought we were through it, but clearly we're not. Back to the drawing board. Uh, we'll be streaming tomorrow. Tomorrow's stream, same time every day. We're going to be playing uh, Lightyear Front Frontier. We're going to be checking out Lightyear Frontier. And uh, we'll be streaming all over the weekend again as well. So all over the weekend and uh, into next week as usual. Uh, except for some medical appointments that I'm going to have. All right. Let's go back to here now. Let's get rid of Ham's camera. And uh, stay safe. Stay glued to your screen for plenty more. I'm still here if you need to ask me a question. I'm just going to have a drink and uh, take a bit of a load off. That's all right. Thanks for hanging out. 50. Thanks, Anna, as well. Thank you, Tools. Thank you to all the members for hanging out today as well.
I just realised we didn't check out the uh, the the oil rig yard that um, that we put up just to the right of us in the bay. It was a lovely big uh, floating oil rig pontoon area. Get some rest. Unfortunately, tools. I'm going to do some more work. This afternoon. No time. No rest for the wicked, friendo. Do love a good track ride. Ooh, duck. Everyone duck. This bit of the track here, just so you know, very low bridges. Um, this bit down here, just so you know, is actually below water level. Oh, I'm going to pause it just quickly here and just show you how below water level this is. Oh, we've got a train waiting here. Oh. It's waiting for us. Now, this retaining wall on the right is actually what's retaining the water level. And this is actually not fake water. It's actually, um, I'll pause it just here. We'll have a look. This is actually not fake water. This is actual in-game water just there. You can see it moving like that, see? How cool is that? Oops. Uh, let's try and get back on that. <laughs> I love it. I think that was really cool. Really love this uh, this yard. This was inspired from your your help at Camp Hank, um, Stephen. This, this yard. Blood risk. No, retaining wall will fix that. <laughs> oh, we're going to hit the building. I love this because it's just trains everywhere all the time. You have hurricanes there? We just get... Um, can yeah, we get big hurricanes? Oh, look at the frame tanking. Frames are tanking. Up and over the tunnel. Under the low bridge. Switch over to here. Ooh. Switch action. Look at the tracks everywhere. What a mess. Nice. And the big boy comes in. Yeah, which coast are you, Anna? We ride the big boy back? Yeah, we ride the big boy back. I don't think we really need to, but it's kind of cool. East Coast. <laughs> I don't know what that means, Johnny, but it sounds offensive. <laughs> Below the water level again. Oh, look at that train up there. That's cool. We're overtaking it. Cool. Nova Scotia. Ah, the Blue Nose Clipper, the fastest clipper in the world. So not the Black Pearl then. Oh yeah, well we're under the ground, are we? Oh, we're about to come out. What? 
the heck are we? Oh, it's on, it's underground. It's underground. Better pop out of here. New Scotland. Right here then, laddie. No, right. What they, did it, does it have a big blue, uh, is the, is the, has it got a big blue front end on it, has it? Big forecastle, big blue forecastle on it. Is that why it's called Blue Nose? And into the station that we left off. Nice. All right, team, now we're going to say goodbye. So thank you very much. That was a nice little track ride. Stay safe, stay glued to your screen, and yes, thank you for all your time here. I loved having and loved meeting a lot of you new people as well. It's been fantastic. See you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Get yourself a beverage. Get yourself a good day tomorrow as well. Have a good one, and I'll see you then.